I want to quote it every time. It's Wednesday, my dudes, but it's like, oh wait, he screams out, ah! But it's not about, it's not about like comic books. It's about patch day, it's patch day, my dudes. Ah! <laughs> come on, load quicker. I need to save the hee hee, come on. I always want to theorize when we sit here waiting for this loading screen because nothing else is happening. This cloud right here keeps fading out. I think it's from the impact of our battle with the unknown god and we're getting closer to it which means we're in this scene we're traveling back in time or time flows quicker into that and not here and it only just happened here oh my god i've cracked the code <laughs> don't care no mm, not he -he. physical purity i don't know what he, he does yet i'm so excited to pull for it our conquest that's what we're here for not he -he. wait not he -he tiny quest I'm, i can't wait to do the he tiny quest as well it's it's the cube okay where's this Wear this. What? They just put it in the desert? Okay, sure. Oh my god, Act 5 starts with waiting? Nah, but... <laughs> what? The first thing is, wait till the following day. Alright, sure. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is finally the conclusion, or at least I think, of the Sumeru Archon quest, at least involving Nahida. I hope we're saving her today, and I hope we're fighting the evil boss that's keeping her in his nasty claws. I can't wait. I'm also gonna pull for Nahida. I don't know if that's gonna be this video though. Let's open the Pokemon pack and get into it. There's nothing else to say. I'm so excited. Ironically, I get an apple and I'm eating an apple for breakfast right now. I get an Emolga, Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Bigon, Milotic. Oh my god! And we get a full Ar Ar Arctovish V. I've never seen this thing in my life. It looks weird. A Tentacruel, an Energy, and rubber gloves. Oh, and a floet at the very back, too. The order kind of messed up there. It is a cool card, once again. All right, that spells good news, right? So let's wait a day, and I'll see you then. This is content. This right here. I'm sitting here, days and nights, hoping for Nahida to not die. I don't know why we're waiting a day. We've waited weeks. We've waited a month. It's done. Talk to Candace. Uh, through the pre-dawn night? Is this in, this in the town? It is. Okay, I expect Let's first do some pulls though. You won't see them because they're gonna be in the Nahida video. Bye. <laughs> okay, I just pulled for her and she is so cool. And look at this idol. She just sits here on a little swing forever. It's so cute. I love her so much. And I discovered something. Everyone probably knows. When you press E on someone, you can like hear their thoughts. So I wonder, does Candace have thoughts right now? No, Candace doesn't. That is so cool. All right, let's go. Oh, I can't believe we are here. It's the final act. Let's go. She's spying on us. She's evil. There we go. There's my prediction for the quest. <laughs> Has everyone arrived? Right. We're preparing. Everyone is already to waiting inside. Oh wow, we're late. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them. All right. Please. Oh. Wait a moment. What's up? Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. Uh oh. What's this? What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything I too reckless. I knew she would say this soon. We're definitely gonna be reckless, Candace. Mm. What do you think? I'll try not to, but I won't succeed. Okay. <laughs> That's all you needed? Okay. Sure. Akasha Pulses Like the Kalpa Flame Rises Chapter 3, Act 5. I shouldn't run as Nahida. She's not free yet. It doesn't make sense. But look, it actually, it does make sense. I only pulled because I was like, I'm running the Nilu team and you need Hydra Dendro. You see that one? Ah, uh, soon. Promise. Going in. Everyone's hey, gang. So early, but why isn't anybody talking? They're focusing. We already discussed things a bit. Without me? Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Hey, I've missed you too. Uh, we've just been told to wait for a day, so I would have been here. Are you ready? I, I mean, yeah. Very well. Mm-hmm. After some discussion and debates, the group finally works out a detailed Are you plan sure together. This is gonna work? No. <laughs> you never know. I gotta admit, it's bold. Telling me impressed. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know what it is yet. It's worth a try. Sure. It the might point cost of discussion life, is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. I mean, it makes sense. What is this? Oh, uh, a cutscene. Maybe we're outside now. What? You're finally done. <laughs> Why are we all walking different directions? Everyone's just going home. I have some other stuff to take care of. Huh? Catch you all later. Hmm. Why are we try Why are they trying to make a Cesadilla again? Huh? Come on, don't give me that face. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. Classic Candace. That's what I wanted to hear. Hmm. Take care. <laughs> I love Candace so much. Well, Traveler. Hi. Paimon. Judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. I don't know. I've been kept in the shadow. 
You can tell? <laughs> yeah. I'm not that good at scheming or strategy, but I can sense people's well, emotions. Candace can communicate and with Ben. And based ben. on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. We'll make our move on the next. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Hina Niagarba Day. Niagarba Day. I'm gonna go with that. Niagarba? I don't know. Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Oh, I hope everything goes wrong. To be honest, I feel the same. Duh. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. Duh. So you have my trust. Thank you, Candace. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. <laughs> she does that more often. She's super sweet. Your deeds speak for themselves. <laughs> Candace. We stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, Aww. we'll be sure to remember your words. True. I think Paimon's voice is a little less screechy today. Maybe it's because it's early morning, I don't know. It sounds good though. I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Of course. Your safety is the most important thing. Someone's gonna die this quest or what? Why is this being pushed on so Only hard? Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. True. So please, take care. Thank you, Candace. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. You don't have to thank me for that. <laughs> Good luck with everything. Oh? I'll be here in the village praying for you. My queen. My queen! <laughs> I'm so worried. Stay Anything else? safe, everyone. That's I'll it. I'll be here oh. praying for you. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, this way. I'll hate them first. So we we don't know anything about. I mean, we know when we're attacking, but that's it. Oh, and he's with the Eremite captain, dude. Bob, Patrick, Peter, Frank. What's his name? Mm, sounds good. Raman. Pretty close. I'll go make some close. preparations. Okay, you do that. He instantly agreed. It must have okay. been pretty good. I'll hate them. Hey, hey, we don't even say hi to Patrick. Have you finished saying your goodbyes? To only Candace, yeah. Yeah. Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. He's like, she does that all the time to everyone. That's nothing special. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. What? Saying goodbye or a useless talk? Our plan is not child's play. Yeah, okay. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. Yeah. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. I kind of agree with what he's saying more. I hope this is clear to you. Of course. I won't put myself out of danger's way. I understand and accept. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? No, we need to be sharp. Didn't we already do that during the meeting? <laughs> you can never have enough words of encouragement. I'll hate them a robot too or what? In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content <laughs> while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. Actually, mom and dad? <laughs> we all have our jobs to do after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Makes sense. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. What? We've seen him fight in the first Eremite, like in the first act. He can fight. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. Mm hmm. In aesthetic, maybe. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. I'll hate them. Sniper rifle weapon. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. That's what I was thinking about. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Yeah. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! <laughs> At this point, yeah. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. Of course. He's talking about species. He might actually not be human. Watch him be a puppet as well. This guy. <laughs> remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. Fair enough. I'll take that as a compliment. Fair enough. Hmm. That reminds me. Mm hmm? Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? Uh. It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Yeah, sure, yeah. You have a good I memory. <laughs> I could have also lied, you know, <laughs> but I, I do remember this was in the tomb with the cutscene where they talked about Nahida actually being you had the lesser queen which is Nahida and the other one But it's just the same person that was in that record too Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, right? But this fact has never been shared with the public uh -huh. Even I who has worked in the academia for some time was never once informed of this. Okay, I think those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. But isn't this 
I thought I thought we'd expect this at this point. I thought that was clear. But the academia has always held a different view. Hmm. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Right. That's true. They did say that. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge. Yeah. And thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. Yeah. And there's only one direction, because you light up my world like nobody else. The withering. <laughs> I'm sorry. Elazar and the sandstorms. Yeah. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in Definitely. the desert thousands of years ago? 100%. But Hyman thought that Ermansoul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. Yeah, but maybe Ermansoul has been diseased with forbidden knowledge. That's the point. At least, that's what Tainari told us. He might not be entirely wrong. Wait a second. Could it be that? <laughs> ah... You've connected the dots. <laughs> the cause of Ermansoul's illness Whoa. may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. No. No well, shot. If that's the case, what should we do? We, we must tell this Nahigi about this. <laughs> oh, we're trying to save Nahigi, that's the plan. Wait, why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? Because it's a lord, it's a lesser lord, it's a queen, it's a... It's a deity. This is so cool as well. She said the key to saving Ermansoul is is contained within the retaining consciousness of the greater lord Rukadavatan. You mean it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia forest? That whole the world forget me thing? I still I still I haven't linked the world forget me thing together yet. Is it no, it just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like it's gonna be such a oh right <laughs> moment, but I can't yet. Hmm. In that case. It's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Isn't that the plan? Only by working with her to save Ermansoul can we completely resolve the problems Sumeru currently faces. He agreed to this plan so quickly. Yeah, that's right. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. But what is- our main plan is just to take out the sages now? And not save Nahi? I thought saving Nahihi was the big thing. Where are we going? Maybe I'm just too attached to the little bean. To an Aramite base. Okay. <laughs> okay, rough cut off. Aramides, oh that's far. Alright, see you there. I don't have the waypoint. Okay, purely out of intrigue. Does this also deal damage then? <laughs> oh, you're all linked. <laughs> do five and run, do five and run. No. Oh, I'll never forgive myself for letting her die in this stupid situation running from a bull. It's fine. An egg suffices to revive a god. This world is crazy. For future proofing, wonder what these guards think. Hey. Hey. Listen. <laughs> Everyone hold hands. You guys aren't even real. They're fake guys. Flood, what are you thinking? Whatever the boss says. <laughs> You're thinking whatever the boss says, okay. Hello. Oh, you made it. Oh, it's these two nerds. Ah, okay. I see. We're going to use them to access the academia. Huh? What are they doing here? Don't be angry. I gave them some technical work to do. Mm hmm Ah, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? Oh, I don't know if we can trust these guys fully. How's the work going? Oh, it's one of these hats. Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. Okay. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Hurry up. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? Uh-huh. What are you doing with those? We're about to find out. Look here. I, I am. I'm doing my best. Uh, huh? More can knowledge? <laughs> Are you going to put more weird stuff into her head again? <laughs> What's that look on your face? Are you scared? <laughs> I thought he would say that it worked out. Are you scared? Hyman's <laughs> a little scared, but very, very furious! Okay, why? <laughs> That's an interesting response. Yeah. Anyway, we're Is not it? going to use this just yet. What's in it? Hit me. As I mentioned during the meeting, mm -hmm. this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. Okay. The Academia should also have their own copy. Sure. And according to the plan we just came up with... Mm-hmm. Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Me? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Of course I do. Now this is Dookie answer. Yes, I Good. do. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Sure. Now, please get ready and put on this device. <laughs> like he said, it's not for now. And then he's like, okay, put it on now. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Oh, and we're gonna spread it through the Akasha terminal and send everyone that's that has one on? Convinced? Y y you feel? Yes. <laughs> he feels. <laughs> Paimon is still really worried. Uh, I okay. understand. 
But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Sure, I mean, hey, if it's gonna save the world, worst case scenario, we replay everything up to here. The game's fun anyway. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like it's a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. What? But you were the one that wasn't encouraging us. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. I'm ready. Guys. Imagine this. <laughs> okay. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. Uh-huh. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Okay. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. I have my eyes closed as well. I'm fully immersed. I have to... Uh, sure, okay. Now, open your eyes. I actually did. What is it? What now? Here. What? You wanna hold hands? Was this just was this a pickup line I'll hate them? You trying to go on a date? What's this? A hand. <laughs> Read it out loud. Hi, do you want to go on a date with me? Pretty please, I'll hate them. Some stirring words have been written. Although you don't quite understand the purpose of this recording, you still follow I'll hate them. It's done. I don't have this pace, man. I don't have this pace. What a fascinating experience. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? I'm doing great. It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. Should. This is gonna have repercussions like in two years from now when we're in some other region. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. Is he gonna explain? He's like, I told you this in a meeting, but you weren't listening, you flying bean. Hey, so far, the people that have had their like knowledge drained, they looked like old, you know, they had white hair, and he just had it happen, and maybe Paimon too, he also has white hair. And that's perfectly fine. <laughs> in any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. <laughs> but do let us know by who though. Is it the Akasha thing? Huh? What do you mean? I'm quoting another song. Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have yeah? long relied on the Akasha. Uh, hey, I think my read's not too bad. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits yeah, yeah, to yeah. them is nothing short of absolute truth. There you go. Okay, nice. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born. Yeah. And this device has always supported you during times of need. Mm -hmm. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? A robot. Uh, a fool? <laughs> a machine? <laughs> I think that's basically what I said. A slave to orders. Yeah, of course. That's what, I think robots are accurate. And that's why rules are so important. Okay. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Sure. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... Interesting. One I was might even say, say they're advantageous in the right hands. If you're in a world of fools and you just know a little bit more than the fools, you can control the fools easily. Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? <laughs> the Lumine Shrug! So good! Anyway, that's enough chit chat. It is. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. Okay. You can head to Caravan stuff. Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Wait, why does he have to fix more if all we have to do is use it once for one person? Okay, let's go to Caravan Small Rebot. Project. Oh? To tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. Okay. Sure. This feels really intriguing to me, because it's like, we're prepping, you know? We're prep working. And we're not really... It almost feels like this quest will be prep work only, and the next quest will be the conclusion. Oh, Sino's here, it seems. I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? Oh, they're trying to make us skill sus again. The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought, and in the end, I still can't agree to it. Wow, okay. But it's still the best plan we have. As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. Let me do the talking, Ramon. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> oh, Hatham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Okay. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? Yeah, what's going on here, huh? Let me be the mediator. My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? Mm -hmm. He's turned against our plan. Well, let's hear what he's got to say. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment. So you'll take care of the specifics. Okay. But then, you went to all Haytham for suggestions. Is this just bad blood between the two still? Had I known all Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Hmm. Look, you already After know the... that we're all on the same side here, don't you? 
Wait, did we take advice from I'll hate them after? Because I feel like he could have just said this during the meeting otherwise. Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. Okay. I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. <sighs> hmm. Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon, this is also something you should know. Yeah, please let me know. I'm confused. Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards, in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Okay. Wait! How can we work with the guards? Well, he's... I don't think that's a bad idea, but I get, I get what he's saying. Maybe all these guards will get injured. I can see what he's saying, though. Can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. No. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. I like the plan. There is no better way. There probably is a better way, but I like the idea still. That also sounds like something all Haytham told you, am I right? Doesn't all Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? <laughs> it's dangerous, but it, 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 it sounds like it would work, you know? Of course he does. He told me, there is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. All right. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. Sure. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. Uh-huh. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. Right. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. Yo, they're sand hardened. They're polished by the sand. They won't they won't feel anything. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I get what he's saying here as well. That makes sense. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. Oh. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. See, if he just said this from the start, it would have made more sense. I thought he was just against death of anyone. But he's okay. He, look, if we murder our enemies, whatever, dude. <laughs> okay, I see this. I still think this plan would work, though. What we can do instead is, like, I try and fake save the mercenaries, right? And then they will think, like, oh, no. And then they don't have to resist. And they won't get punished, because I'll, be I'll be the bad guy. <laughs> you get what I mean? I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. <laughs> I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Sure. Now oh, you're making this hard for me. Nah, bro, come on. You're fine. Hey, is there something we can do to help? I can help. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> you were just acting, weren't you? See, you knew. <laughs> we can help fight some of the mercenaries. What did I tell we you? We should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly Bro. with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Well, I great minds think alike. I'm like Paimon. Or I'm like Lumine. I mean, it is me, after all. We should respect the determination of Ramon and his comrades. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. Right. We strongly value the lives of our friends. But the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear okay. of casualties. Maybe. Because we crave the spoils of victory. <laughs> so please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Maybe if we, if we manage to save Nihihi as well, she can do something about the casualties. I don't know if, if she's that strong. Because that'd be kind of crazy, but, you know. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Of course. Candace made it very clear that we can only <laughs> achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. There really is two sides to this story, huh? Do you think there's going to be a choice between safety and danger at some point? And, like, safety would be Sino and danger would be all hate them? Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendrowarkon and those of King Deshret. Of course. Everyone's life is equally important. They were homies anyway. Okay, you have a deal. Yeah. Let's do this for our shared dream. <laughs> he still has massive hands. Okay. The guards Phew. should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. That's cool. You can find them there. That's cool. Guys, I'm like Ezio. Oh wait, these are ally guards? I think these are our friends. Guards. Or, well, friends. Like, we have we have the bandits. General Mahamatra. To, to what do we owe the honor? 
do they not know that he's like fleeing and being chased? I guess it's not public. Ah, he can still use this then, okay. Because that was another thing I was thinking about, but it's fine. Keep your voice down. Shh. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. <laughs> According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. <laughs> ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. Mm. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. No, you don't have to. Listen, I'm the Mahatmasma. And I'm the great Mondstadt honorary knight, friend of Aranara, so you have nothing to worry about. They're a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. Nods. Uh huh. As many as Ein El Akmar? Yes. This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. What? Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors oh. as soon as possible. I'll bring and more. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Oh, we're trying to get more people. Okay, yeah, no, different, different. Yeah, it's scary. Bring more, bring more. <laughs> Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. All right, you do that, dude. Go get your phone. And in the meantime, we will walk into the desert and supposedly capture them. <laughs> What's the? You look so commanding when you're working, Sino. Because this is work. I mean, it's true. You're much more friendly to us, though. Because I trust you. <laughs> Very linear. Paimon can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff. Oh, you're just gonna have to float there. Don't go too stiff though, because otherwise you'll fall to the floor. Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the academia and are no longer their general Mahamatra? No, that's definitely classified. Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? I thought about this as well, but even the superiors wouldn't know. We discussed this, remember? Oh, did we now? The caravan rebot ah, operation is of great importance. Okay. But don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. Okay. How can you be so sure? How can you? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. There you go. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the general Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. Yeah. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. Sure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. Right. The Akasha is still in operation. Of course. So I must remain on high alert. Mm. Yeah, this is that computing feature, right? That guessed where Sino would be at the time. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. Yeah. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. No explanation for this? If you remember, okay. when you first oh. came to Aru Village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. Right. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. Yeah. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Oh my god, I'm the variable factor in this world. Just like my brother was 500 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> That's true, but why? I'm actually an EMP. Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. Okay. Mine hasn't? I've had the thing on my head too, it's probably sucked out all my brain juice. That's true, but the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Based on what they were at the time of extracting the person's info, so since Sino has changed, maybe his decisions have changed too, and the terminal wouldn't be able to track it. Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? No, no idea. Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. But not me, I guess, because I'm an external fa- I have no idea. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. Okay. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. Like, we don't. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? No. Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. 
but can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? Of course not. How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? They can't. Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. Yeah, there you go. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Yeah. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. Okay. But now, you've joined a team, and I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. <laughs> Do you think that if it knew all of the people involved, then it would be able to compute it? So that is that is scary. This place like dictatorship to a robot. It's Our weird. thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Hey, just like Any my brain bites could potentially disagree with another. Uh huh. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. Right. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. I'd hope so. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. I think they're pretty valid arguments. Hmm, huh. makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad that this is settled. Oh, right. Here we are. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. I wanted to. I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> will do. I'm confident we can do this. Just remember to stay vigilant. Of course. I listen to Candace. Trust me. Ah, footsteps. Okay. The army. General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. He sounds pleasantly surprised. He doesn't sound angry. I'm the security officer of the Grand Desert Desert District. My name Lux is Luxembarbo. That's a badass name. <laughs> this is my assistant, the Traveler. Hi. She will be working with me. Mm -hmm. The construct next to her is for her work. The construct. Beep, construct, beep. <laughs> Her eyes, hello? Okay, nice nice color of Paimon, I like it. What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. <laughs> and Thank you. is this the latest technology from the academia? Yep, 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 yeah. Uh, nice to meet you too as well. Have you made a decision regarding the matter <laughs> I mentioned to your subordinate? <laughs> it seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone <laughs> as well known as yourself. Core of 30, we're like, core of thirsty? <laughs> Why is he staring at us, not at Sina? Weirdo. There's no need for flattery. Uh, well, there is. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the, the district. The most elite. We will carry out the operation there. Yo. Understood. <sighs> map. Map. Hurry, bring the map. <laughs> These interactions. The guard immediately brings over a map. Sign of Circle's location in two the days, We will engage Rahman's Aramites and capture all of them. In two days? Don't make me wait. Don't make me wait. Any questions about the time or location? No, it's on the map and it's in two days. None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Walks around, do the salute, and... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> They're gone. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. <laughs> yeah, it does feel pretty good. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. And now, we're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Exciting. Get ready. We will move out in two days. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's happening. Oh, there you go. Wait two days. Ow, it just does burn. Never mind. Ow, ow. Okay. Well, let's wait two days then. So exciting. I'm so excited though. I feel like there's so many directions this can go. It's not It's not very predictable. And I am worried for death though, because there's been a lot of death and failure talk. Alright. Sure thing. Let's go. You know, I've thought about it before. Maybe it'd be cool to actually play during those two days, like do exploration in the meantime. You'd feel really immersed. And it's like Paimon actually in the morning of the second day would be like, hey, it's time. But I think days into that are equivalent to 24 hours, so it would actually take Look, an hour there. or 24 minutes. Already. Hey, helpers. There's only helper. four bros? Wait a moment. Okay. Ah! Oh, it's you. That scared you? You're my assistant, remember? Yes, I remember. 
Being my assistant, you must stay with me. And behind me. Now let's head over there. Yes, sir. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. <laughs> we meet again. Hello, Luxembarbo. Huh. You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. <laughs> Honestly, I think he's kind of a good guy. He's just being brainwashed. I, I hope this guy doesn't die. Since this is a big case for the academia, we are prepared to give it our best. Okay. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. Yes. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, <laughs> we will be unable to continue the investigation. Ensuring safety? Understood. Nice. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! No way. There, but there's like 30 plus of them, aren't there? And we are we have four people? Make preparations and be ready for combat. Sure. All right. Uh. Halt! Halt! Oh, what a warm welcome! Holy four? What do you want? <laughs> Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. <laughs> I'm so surprised there's so little people. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. Wow, the acting. <laughs> I'm not here to talk. <laughs> oh, nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. <laughs> Brothers, for that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. There's no way this is going to be an epic cutscene. Oh wait, we're going to punch them because we have to fake it. Help Sino arrest the Aramites. Ah, ah, I'm punching. This is real. I'm trying so hard, guys. <laughs> to be fair, I'm punching more than what the Aramites or the guards are. I'm sorry, Ramon. Oh, I killed him. He's dead. He's. I told you. I guess there is more than just the four we saw. Here, here's a little burst. Pop again. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> she got tongued so hard by that guard. It's over. <laughs> Real. We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been It's arrested. not over yet. We need to bring them to Samara City. Ah, you pitiful Dendro Archon <laughs> dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I will say, he's really good at role-playing. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. Right. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Oh. Silence! <laughs> oh! Uh, Ow. Restrain them and take them back to Caravan <laughs> Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by go. the General Mahamatra. Uh huh. Yes, sir! Here we go. The guards escort a furious looking Raman and the others away. Mahamatra Sino. Bro, I will they now can take, take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Okay. Understood. You are dismissed. Thank you, good sir. I mean, he did his work. He did it decently. There they go. Yep. Let's talk elsewhere. Sure. You find a safe place, free of potential eavesdroppers, and begin your conversation. <laughs> Literally, somewhere else in the open this desert. part of the plan went really well. Uh-huh, sure. Well, it feels like it anyway. Yes. Things went perfectly. Wait, a plan can never go perfectly. That's fantastic! Well, I guess a plan can never be perfect, is what they said. And that punch you gave Ram on there? Sure looked convincing enough. He wasn't happy about it, I don't think. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. Okay. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Thank you, Sino. It is a bit rough, because we have to trust so many people for this plan to work. Like, we have to be able to 100% trust everyone. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> it's not the time to celebrate yet. Agreed. Hmm. <sighs> I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Okay, we're gonna have a next flashback. Go join up with, with her. that part of the plan. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Oh, cool! Speaking of Yo. which, is it really okay Tainari for us Dia. not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? Nah, we could be worried about it, but he's seen what Nahida's done when she had to jump into Catherine's body and then ours. He was there to witness it. I'm pretty sure he knows the scale of what's happening. He'll help. I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. That's so cool. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. <laughs> if we need help, 
Tainari is the best option. I keep hearing Sino is supposedly a jokester. I haven't heard him made a joke ever. I'll be honest. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Uh-huh. Don't keep them waiting. I won't. I wasn't saying a word. Eremita no credite, is that what it said? Eremites aren't believable. Aren't credible. Aren't... Eremites aren't... Don't have credit. <laughs> don't have money. Dia! We're here! Dia! <laughs> it's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? <laughs> here you come rolling in late. <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak. I'm mute. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven <laughs> drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Oh, haul? Yo, clothes haul? Let's see it. <laughs> uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. Wow. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. Well, you had time to walk around the place six times, and I had to take care of Eremite group infiltrating Sumeru. What do you do? Sorry, the situation was a bit tricky. I don't no apologies. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll stop. You wouldn't have gotten me with that. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Sure, let's go. Uh, but where should we start? I don't know, let's just follow her. Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. <sighs> okay. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Uh, fair enough. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru Whoa, is already so hard wind. enough. If the doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. So we're not even fighting Dottore yet? Because he's just too strong, supposedly? Whoa. Yeah, we sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, it really gives time on the creeps. Yeah. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. <laughs> I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. Real. So, what should we do? According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis D.I. Okay. and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. Let's do it. If all That's Haven true, and there. sources are solid, Taking care of then our we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. Right, 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 right. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Okay. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. Sounds good. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. Didn't expect you to become my bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I am. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. Well, I'm the honorary knight of Mondstadt. I'm not just anyone. But Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. Yeah. That's we certainly paid. true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Okay. Hmm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply a discount. Why? Then it'd be a less good deal. <laughs> <laughs> do you want? I was not sure we can afford it. I'm pretty rich at the moment. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, Aww. how about paying me with a smile? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> of course, what do you mean, huh? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Aw, Dia. Come on, give me a smile <laughs> so that I can be less worried. <laughs> It's so cute, though. I love it. Thank you, Dia. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. Nah, Dia, stop. Actually blushing. There are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Uh-huh. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. I'll smile again, I promise. What's happening to these clouds, though? Why are they so wobbly? Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's Di. Let's go. I don't have that waypoint, I know for a fact. As by a god's side, find Tignari at Party's DI. Here we go. Tignari! I see you, Tignari. I've come seeking for your help. Let's go say hi! I'm I'm doing that right now. Oh! What? It's daytime. <laughs> Is there gonna be a cutscene? That was sudden. Ah, traveler, Paimon. And you are? Hey, long time no see. Hey there. <laughs> Dia, she's an Aramite mercenary. Uh huh. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. Very big news. Tainari, we want to ask you about something. It's something really important. Please help us out. I've got a letter from Sino. It totally doesn't say these nuts. <laughs> Alright, then follow me. <laughs> he knows. We're being spied on. Who is it? Ooh, what a transition. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Smooth. Okay, what is this important thing you want to ask me? We need your help. You ever met the doctor? I want to know where he is. The doctor, huh? Yeah. 
He's that strange-looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. He definitely dyes it if he doesn't have blue hair. Yes, I know him. You know him, even. Uh, actually, he left Party's DI just a little while ago. You're yoking. <sighs> he left already? What? Imagine he's the kind of enemy that just roams around Sumeru, and you can find him in the wild randomly. <laughs> you just find Dotore and fight him. Yeah, he came looking for me. Oh? Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. Maybe we should let him know that Sino sent us first before he starts overthinking things. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Oh, there you go. Sino, you say? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the Academia. Yeah, there's a long story about this, man. Okay, I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? <laughs> Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Wow. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. <laughs> and that's where you're wrong. I'm with the doctor. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. Okay. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypasia away with him. Oh no. That's our girl that I was talking about. Hypatia? She also has blue hair. Why would he want her? <gasps> They're siblings. And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Probably. Yes. Yeah. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. Oh, well, I mean, that. At least that makes it so that he's. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> I was gonna say, at least that makes it so that he's not here. Either it fixes our plan, or it's a trap and he will still be here and surprise attack us. So you mean you're leaving this place soon? <laughs> Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. <laughs> oh my god. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Okay. Let me ask, have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? No. Your sources are accurate, no doubt because you've recruited many informants. <laughs> but you're right, Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Okay. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Pretty damn good if you ask me. Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. <laughs> oh no. He's definitely sus of him, right? But Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. Don't tell me she becomes a harbinger or something crazy. Don't let it happen. It's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? He should. Oh, I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me. <laughs> to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. <laughs> How unbefitting. I didn't expect you to get offended over such a little matter, Dottore. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. Mm-hmm. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. Sure. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Okay. Would that be agreeable to you? This is gonna end bad, for sure. Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains oh. a scholar of the Academia. Oh. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate Yo. her transfer to another nation. Let's go, Tignari. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky and the potential benefits are unknown. <laughs> As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Yes. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. <laughs> I'll pass. I love how formal he is. He took her anyway. He's... I don't know much about the doctor. <laughs> Never mind. But after talking with him, I realized that, just nice. like many other scholars, he uh -huh. possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. Fully understand this. <laughs> it's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities, to a point of near insanity. Agreed. That's such a nice way to put it. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. Let's go. Take nutty, my queen. Do you think he'll just give up on her? I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits, and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Mm. Still, his reaction really concerned me. That means he's staying. <laughs> that means he's not gone to Snezhnaya just yet. Oh. Oh. Oh, more. Okay. What is it? Say. Speak. Just silence? <laughs> oh. 
He giggles. I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. This has to be some kind of vial of crazy stuff, right? There's no way it's just an earring. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. What did you expect, Dottore? Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with her most noble majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Oh, what? Oh. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh, okay, so he's still here. It's just as the Academia said, you're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. I don't know what shrewdness means, help. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. That includes you as well. <laughs> why is he like this? There he goes. Hey, don't get that. That's, that's for me, okay? That's right. Don't touch it. Okay. Wow. So uh, the Sarita called can't him all help back. I feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. Oh, he's definitely doing that. But that's also maybe to put stress on us. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Yeah. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. You said that's his arrogant arrogance. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. Yeah. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <laughs> I was wondering. Does Tainari know about the Kole thing and Dottore being the person? I think he does, right? So he should have former opinion on him a little bit, maybe? <sighs> I can't believe he's actually leaving Sumeru. I can barely believe it myself. If that's true, the situation will be in our favor. It was our goal? I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, <laughs> I don't want you to do anything too risky. Uh huh. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. For sure. Thank you for sharing the information with us, Tainari. Sorry, we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. Hey, we'll come back and tell you the story once we've defeated the evil. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. Mm -hmm. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Hello? What? Oh. Sino. Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes. Yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar. Okay. But some details have been omitted. Right. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One oh. dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day. Cute. And three dots stand for a rainy day. Okay. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. Oh. I believe something may have happened to him. That is so cool. What a cool way to find out. I mean, obviously it's not cool that something happened to him, but you get what I mean. <sighs> I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the Academia, ah. to investigate this matter, right? Oh. I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately hmm. the first hint of danger. It's weird that we haven't heard anything about this from Sino, though. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. <laughs> the Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher-ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. Okay. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the Academia. If you don't see oh. me there for an so extended period, that's your cue. Okay. All right. We've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. Sure. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant. And be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. Oh my, this has so much more depth now. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the sages say. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. I'm so intrigued. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes, but... My master is a man of integrity. <laughs> Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. Right. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long, but in the end, still caught up to him. I wonder if this is someone we know. Transition back to now. Got it. I see. So you noticed something was up with the academia from the very beginning. Crazy. This may well be how Sino became involved in all of this. In that case, 
I must keep my promise and help you however I can. Sure. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. Okay. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Sure. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. Okay, I'll do my best. Thanks. Thank you. Right. Now let's go hunt down this harbinger. Still? Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardisti Eye? The waypoint way, which I believe is northeast? That way. <laughs> he's not even gonna say, he's just, yeah, that way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. See you later. I, I actually love how he doesn't say, he doesn't say the direction, or he points, like he doesn't say northeast or whatever. Cutscene again? Are we loading According somewhere else? Tainari, oh! The doctor is leaving Sumeru soon. Okay. I want to check if the doctor was actually telling the truth. Fully understand that. He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean by Finish that? Finish the heat of thing. We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. Of course. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. Oh, uh, yeah? But we have no idea where he went. How can we start chasing him? I, well, this direction, generally. We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do nice. is just follow me. Love it. I'm a big fan of just following the <laughs> That Harbinger may oh. have tried to cover his trail, yes. but he still left some traces. Let's go, Dia. Or perhaps I love this. he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Yeah. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. True. He probably doesn't expect us to yep. chase him. We're headed in the right direction. Nice. Hmm. The traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Clearly, they're in a hurry. Ooh, this is so cool. I can't get over it. Us running here together through the little forest? This is actually so immersive. Mm, it's just as I thought. What is it? Oh no, we're actually headed to Kole, aren't we? I'm worried. Here's a little Fatui camp. Is this it? Yeah, looks like it. We can stop here. Oh. I think I know where the doctor went. Little piggy, though. Where is it? Is it there? Is it there? <laughs> or is he hiding by the little piggy who sniffed him out? To the south of here is Port Ormos, okay. which seems to be where they're headed. Okay, sure. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? I don't know. That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. See, we could have known maybe if we knew that Snezhnai was surrounded by water, but I have absolutely no clue. Not the tiniest of clues. Oh, and now we walk a thousand... That's all you needed, Dia? You're crazy talented. Okay. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's all smiles now. Uh-oh. There's so he hey, there he is. Mistaken. Nobody. I'm sorry, dudes, but I'm an actual spy now. I see the doctor on the boat. <laughs> the doctor is on that boat. I know. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Right. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him. Okay, I'll try. Hey, dude. Friendy. Not friendly. <laughs> hey! Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, I see the Fatutus. They're standing there. We sneak in. We blend in. No shot. They know it's me. Look! Fatui soldiers! Stop screaming! Thanks to Dia's tracking skills, seems we found the right place! Let's go, Dia. Shh! Don't draw their attention. I agree. I said the same. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Uh-huh. Let's keep going and see what we can find. <sighs> But the Fatui know us by now, no? Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaya and Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. Oh no, holy flipping flip -flop. I used to hold a position in our homeland and back then... Oh wait, this is a The doctor thing. spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. <laughs> Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off They don't on know, him. guys. It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. Uh -huh. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Sure. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. What you mean? No, no, I remember it oh, like no. it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Okay. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's all smiles now. Uh-oh. There's so- he Hey, there he is! Mistaken. Nobody- I'm sorry, dudes, but... I'm an actual spy now. I see the doctor on the boat. <laughs> the doctor is on that boat. I know. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Right. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him. Okay. I'll try. Hey, dude. <laughs> Hey! 
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bro, I was right here. I'm stupid. Higher 20 meters. Bro, I was right here. I'm stupid. This place will do. Okay. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. Sure. Definitely not someone behind us. So the doctor didn't lie about leaving Sumeru, but could it really be that simple? Are we sure he's not planning something? Huh? Oh, he sees us. She she can sense it. The cat ears. That or we've been flanked. Uh -oh. What's the matter? He, he saw us. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Wave back. Wave back. Huh? It, is he waving at us? Wave back. It's time to say goodbye. I want to wave back. I would have waved back. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? I don't know. <laughs> Why are we so worried about this? I'm confused. The eerie piano started playing. Huh? You mean there's nobody with him? That is what it means to be alone, yes. And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? Uh, behind us. They were all here just a few minutes ago, but now they vanished. This was a tarp, I told you. So this was a trap. Yeah, but there's nobody around us. It's all an illusion. Uh, this guy's smart. He probably figured something out. Wait, don't tell me that. <laughs> We're dreaming. <laughs> Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of still everything before I leave. Okay. Oh, what? no. What? Uh-oh. They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Okay. Huh? What do you mean? I just remembered. Hypatia once connected her consciousness to the Balladeer. Right. Who is now Fatutu, okay. I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. Mm. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Well, we know all the lore anyway. Yeah, you'd kill her. Oh no! Are you saying they're going to... kill her? Yes. Let's go! <laughs> Run! Oh no. Oh no. As quickly as possible. I don't have the waypoint still. Oh no, she's gone because of me. Look, it's smart though. I get the flank. I get the flank. They'll never expect it. No shot they expect. A flying... That's not a nada, bro. No one cares. Oh, here they are. Tignari's there as well. No shot they expect a flying... Okay, maybe they do. Pardis Di is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. <laughs> I'm gonna call me Guys, you are not allowed in here. How many times do I have to tell you? I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal <laughs> herbs in Pardis Di for research purposes. Mm -hmm. But you've been in Sumero for some time already. I find it coincidental <laughs> that you chose to only come here today. <laughs> Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. What do you mean? Supposedly the Totore has more influence in Sumeru than the Grand Sage? I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. Feel free to make things difficult. I'm here, Dignity. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. <laughs> you can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Party's DI now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. <laughs> With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Why do you need guards to gather herbs, by the way? Well, you only have your harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about <laughs> keeping a low profile. <laughs> he's so, he's so like, snappy. I may be staying at Party's DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. Uh-huh. It is still my what? duty to protect the peace and that safety boy's so of the pretty. scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. This is such a badass angle. Also, I'm standing right there. It'd be cool if I actually was there. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. Don't cut scene. No one will lay Let a me hand fight. On you, Hapasia. Not on my watch. I'm here too. What's up, nerds? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? That was not. That was crazy. Teach him a lesson. Whoa! Give us Stop resisting. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Bro, I used that verse, that was yeah. crazy. You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know any- <laughs> Oh my god, it's for them so quick. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and this. attack from behind. I agree. I killed them too quickly. <laughs> I feel bad. I, we didn't get to hear the, the uh, lapdog line. Got it. Alright, I'm going. Why am I so happy? I'm so not bothered. <sighs> Hapage is still here. 
Are Doesn't we look sure? Like anyone's broken in. Is she fine though? Uh, we're worried. Who would have thought this little lady we met at the very first instant we entered Sumeri is the first girl we've seen, and she's this important in the whole story. She appears unharmed, but why is she so still? She's just sleeping? Are we sure about this? Well, how is she? Something's... the pressure's building up. Something's weird. Everything's fine. She's sound asleep. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get ganked. It's... it's too... it's quiet. Too quiet, you know? Oh, that's good. Hmm... what is this... what is this... density? Yeah. What is this? So... You think this is over? No, I don't. I knew you would. I kn the e revive was way too much. You seriously think you could feel this? Is he a god? Has it happened? You can communicate with us like this. I don't even have the thing on. Scaramouche? What? The balladeer is here. <laughs> Why is she also transparent? It's just me and him. <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. Yeah, because you being a creepy boy, what can I what can I say? Of course. But, uh, where is he? He's in our consciousness. Rent free. Pama can't see him, so he's a spirit? A ghost. Wait, I told you. In our head. Is it because I made physical contact with Hypatia? Is the Baladir in her consciousness? Oh my god, I'm so good. I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Yeah, you can hear them, I don't care. You're stinky. Baladir's mad stinky. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Party's DI and made contact with Hypatia. Interesting. What do you do to her? I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. <laughs> Tell me, Skara, how in hating everything that humans do, joining the bad things they do makes you feel better? Uh, how is that? Who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? Hi, Mom. <laughs> That's impossible. Shut up. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. But why? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Okay, you look very chunky. Uh, hey, Traveler! Wh what are you doing? Paimon, shut up! My deification is nearly complete. Okay. All that's left now are just some final details. So you're giving me a time window to come ruin it. Cool. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Uh-huh, sure. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Yeah, she'll kick your ass easily. Or she might cleanse you. Academia acted even faster than we thought. Scholars consider the God of Wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. Uh-huh. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. Right. It's truly laughable. Yet you decide to become one. If you can hear my thoughts, I want to ask you a question. Yes. What is it? You're acting more friendly than usual. Or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm talking to you like this. <laughs> why? But are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? <laughs> this is actually kind of crazy. The Academia plans to infuse your consciousness with the Divine Knowledge Capsules. This is extremely risky. Even if the Academia's theories are correct, and you manage to gain the wisdom of a god, you would probably no longer remain yourself. You will become the new Greater Lord Rukadavata for the Academia. Even if it means losing yourself, would you still want to become a god? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. Well, what do you know? But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. Are you now? I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. <laughs> Bringing the Nike airwalks to a whole new definition. A god made to protect though. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. Yeah, you're a slate, we get the it. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. Sure. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Hmm. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? You wouldn't understand. I have a brother. I'm connected to your consciousness. 
so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is so cool. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go <laughs> of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. Well, enlighten me then. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. I've heard that before, but who said I'm a human? I'm not from this planet, technically I'm an alien here. If that's truly really what you believe, why did you keep your connection with Hypatia? Surely the power you've come to possess, you can cut her off with just the thought. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. Mm. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. But you've just admitted to having these stupid human emotions. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. So did I. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. Ugh, follower. Ugh, ugh. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity. Yeah. While her warship shall become my glory. You little weirdo. Is that so? You're doubting me again? Yes. No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. Will I know? <laughs> If you truly cherish your followers, you should protect them from harm. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? Your very own harbinger dude boy, Doctor, because she's seen too much. It seems that the Doctor does not wish for her to stay in Sumeru and continue receiving treatment here. Isn't that a little suspicious? The Doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Uh-huh. Doesn't that make you mad? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't believe us, I guess. <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? Maybe I am, but not directly. The doctor has never known his place. Even <laughs> now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. <laughs> you're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift. Okay. Just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. What is it? It is an honor for you to be able to stand here <laughs> and speak with me. Uh huh. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Thank you so much. No, I don't like this. I don't like that you're looking down on me. You think you're superior now? A look on your face. What are you planning? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. Really, no. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Oh, <laughs> that last line is so deep. Thunder? Could it be the Balladeer? That person Paimon couldn't see was the Balladeer? Uh-huh. Oh, he sure chatted with you for a while. Didn't expect that either. He's become milder, but somehow even more deranged. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, where is the storm headed? It can't be. The Balladeer is using the Gnosis to change the weather? That means anyone outside is in danger. Let's go. Tainari and Dia still must be fighting. Trust me, they don't one-shot you. I've been hit by lightning plenty of times. Let's let's touch Hepasia one more time. That sounded very weird, but you get what I meant. Let me gather some Parisara. <laughs> As gifts for Nilu, who's definitely gonna help us in the future, maybe someday, perhaps. He actually got struck! <laughs> he, he's Electro, he actually got struck, no joke. Oh, wait, wait, I thought he got struck between- No, 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 no. Tignati doesn't die. Retreated? I don't know. He's definitely hit. Take the DR over there. I thought hey, it was just in between, but he actually got struck. He's hurt. Yeah, I can tell. I'm fine. Don't move. What can I do? I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Oh, he's better now. I was laughing because I thought it wasn't like canon, but it was canon. I didn't mean to laugh. Sorry. Struck by lightning? Uh huh. We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, hmm. almost as if it were alive. So that was the gift. He was actually helping. Luckily, there were only two of us. Flashbang. And both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. Nice. There were a lot of Fatui, though. And they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. You were right. Those bolts were definitely conscious. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. Your wound. I'm really sorry. Why are you sorry? I might have triggered the thunder and lightning. 
<laughs> it's all right. I'm sure you also never expected this to happen. Definitely not. Don't blame yourself. I appreciate it. My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. Yeah. Is Hapasia all right? She seems okay. I do have to tell you something, though, while we're standing in this rain and thunder, when there's a little hut we could go hide in, you know, so we don't have to get struck. <sighs> yeah, that's what I mean. Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? <laughs> <sighs> Just in case. <sighs> Let's... Let's carry him there. Go to Hapasia's place. And Good. talk about things there. Good. Tignity smart boy. Tignity very smart. Tignity... Dia... Hey, Pesha. He's walking just fine. <sighs> Relief. Thank goodness she's fine. Yep. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? Right. I understand my condition. <laughs> the wound is not fatal. I'll be alright. Can we make you a potion or something? Tell us a recipe. Have some sweet madame. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. <laughs> I know. They always think they can push through the pain. <laughs> For real. Have a seat, Tignutty. Oh, there you go. Down. Good. <laughs> Let me rest for a bit. <sighs> Sorry, traveler. Now you may start. No need to apologize. Here's how it is. You recount everything from meeting the doctor at Port Armos to your encounter with the Balladeer while checking up on Haypatient. So that's what you were talking to the Balladeer uh -huh. about? Uh-huh. Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking! Yeah, I can believe it, but it's not good. Uh, ambitious, I guess? Yeah. Anyway, this is all way beyond me. You heard this. I told this at the end of last quest. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, <sighs> tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. Uh-huh. I'll only work when I have to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in Party CI. <laughs> I think it's respectable, though. That is all you need in the end, you know? There's a saying in the Netherlands, I don't know if it's widespread, but it's brood and spelen, which means bread and games. It essentially means as long as you're fed and you have something to distract you, you know, in day-to-day -day life, that's all you need to be happy. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. <laughs> right. Don't mention it. <laughs> well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to uh -huh. and left Sumeru in a hurry. Yeah, and I also have a theory. I think the Balladeer is the reason why the doctor is targeting Hypatia. Her consciousness connected to the Balladeer and has seen his past. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the Balladeer. His weakness. Is that why they tried to seize Hypatia? I think it's his weakness though, like that bit of emotion. I think we can use that. You said the Balladeer claimed that Hypatia has seen his past. So, what could be there? Isn't it the stuff that we have also seen? There we go. The Fatui are coming for me too, I guess, in their jet planes. I thought it was maybe the bit of history that we have seen about him as well when we originally made contact with her. I don't know, though. For now, I'm still not really sure. Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the Doctor's actions. Uh-huh. He thinks the Doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. Yeah. So, if the Doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. Right. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. <laughs> we've the done doctor nothing. is out of the picture now. <laughs> Yay! That's a big accomplishment! He did it himself. <sighs> I'm also happy for you. Get some sleep, Dignity. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yeah. Get some rest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a no. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party Sti. Right. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. Yo? Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. I'm so intrigued. Hey, Tignutty. You just focus on your plan. Leave a patient to me. Okay. My wound isn't going to get in the way. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll sit still for a little while longer. You, you do that. You do that, Chief. I am touching her. Kara, I'm coming for you. You hear me? I'm in your consciousness. All right. Cool. Wait until the agreed time. Exciting. Here we go. So, is this the conclusion? Do we think so? Because we've done basically every task for everyone, you know? We've done the I'll hate them task, we've done the Sino task, and the Dia task now. So, is this the final part? The plan is set up? Let's get to it. You think Nilu's gonna be here? 
Okay, not yet, anyway. Sino and I'll hate them. Alright, everyone is here. Uh-huh, well, yeah. How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. Okay. I'll start first. Let's go. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha Terminal. Cool. In addition, the props required are also ready. Nice. I'm so excited to enter the Academia as well. I wonder what it's like inside. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party's DI. The situation was a bit complicated, mm -hmm. but we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Mm -hmm. Who is behind it? <laughs> the Balladeer and the Doctor. Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? Eh, the Balladeer. <sighs> uh-huh. After some back and forth, we confirm that the Doctor has left Sumeru by boat. Yeah. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnaya. That Saritza called him back. That's crazy. So, we've successfully removed the Doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> Good. Indeed. Oh! Tainari also asked us to tell yes. you this message. Yes. Good, Paimon. Trust your own senses and experiences. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I remember that. I like this. Everything also went smoothly on my side. The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. Good. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. Smart. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites into Sumeru City. <laughs> it was like three or four. It's probably more, right? In the end, like in a cutscene, there's going to be more, but it was three or four. It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. Yeah. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> He's like kind of flexing. Well, that was my idea, but. Is that them. everything? Yeah. Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Okay, great. Uh huh. Wait, you mean that's it? Yep, yeah, well, let's go home, and tomorrow Nahida will be saved. Wonderful. Well, what else is there to discuss? I don't know. Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? You know, to fire us up now? <laughs> Here he is again with the words of encouragement. He's split on this. Personally, I'd rather we all go home and See? get some rest. I told you. It takes like one oh, second them. to say something. You... Ugh. <sighs> oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. Sure, I'll be the leader. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. Nilu. But I thought all of you academia big shots were great speakers. <laughs> I like how we're allies and friends, but we still throw shade at each other. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. <laughs> I write. I do not speak. I know that. So what? <laughs> A scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. There you go. Fine, whatever. <laughs> well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Oh, that would be me. Yeah, Peter with a smile, guys. Peter with a smile. Employer? Yeah. Yep. The traveler hired me. I told you, I paid her with a smile. <laughs> That's right. So come on, <laughs> boss. What do you have to say for the team? Yeah, I love you all a lot, morale. and I hope. We can take down the doctor and the balladeer and save the world and be best of friends and I'll treat you all to a meal once we're done. Let's go. Huh? What are you all doing There here? she is. I knew Nila would be involved. Come on, she could not be involved. Oh, it's Nilu! Yeah, of course. Hey, everyone. Hi. I'm not disturbing you, am I? A little bit. Not at all. I was actually a just bit. about to go find you. No, you're disturbing a little bit. I was about to have a sick speech. <laughs> uh... Judging from the group and all your serious faces, mm -hmm. you were discussing something important, weren't you? <laughs> What's this shook face? Yes, we were indeed. But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. Can we trust her though? Can she go? Everyone crosses their arms. Literally, everyone's crossing their arms. Everyone's mad at you. Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? <laughs> we could use her, for huh? sure. Join you? Yeah, we're trying to take over the academia you mean you also want to discuss something important <laughs> with me yeah yes something very important massively important no pressure though but huge like this can change the face of the world not don't no stress though Nilu, are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days <laughs> huh wait you're seriously inviting me <laughs> this is gonna be risky though i'll hate them tells Nilu the pen of the <laughs> day can't say it. Nilu is shocked at first, but it isn't long before she's bellowing with excitement. I... I can't believe my ears! <laughs> you are truly the bravest and most passionate people of Sumeru... Well, that... I've ever met! I... I want to say... I say way too much, but she's really cute. I say cute way too much, I know. 
<laughs> oh, right. The Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru, <laughs> but you are awesome as well. Wow, I'm so happy to be awesome in comparison to the craziest, coolest people of Sumeru. <laughs> That's right. I, I must admit that I'm a little scared. I think we all are. But I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. You're already in the party. Remember, believe in yourself. This. Okay. I'll get my friends at the Grand oh. Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Really? Okay. Well, are they gonna, like, make a crowd and block people? This is gonna be crazy. Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. <laughs> She's eavesdropped everything as well. Yep, you got it. All the preparations are done. Now, can we finally conclude this meeting? <laughs> yep. Tomorrow, we're gonna save a god. So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? Um, it's hard to believe everything that has happened until now. And our actions will bring change to many things tomorrow. Yep, yep! It's a grand plan and we're all super awesome! <laughs> That's right. So, just get a good night's sleep, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Well said. Mine was way better. A good night's rest before an operation can be the difference between success and failure. Real. Huh. Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. I just, I just physically, I'd like, what do you call it when you close your eyes a little bit and you're like, huh? What do you mean to yourself? Who else who lives with you? I squinted. That's the word I was looking for. Uh-huh. Yeah, indeed. Oh, um, nothing. <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. Give us lore. Come on. Alright, let's all go what? home and get a good night's sleep so we can How be How are we just gonna gloss tomorrow? over this? I'm with Dia. I wanna know. Okay. So I guess Spill. that means it's time to say goodnight now. It is. Yep! Good night, everyone! <laughs> this is why we had to wait until night. <laughs> we had to time skip to here. <laughs> victory Road! Yo, this Pokemon reference. Let's go. Do a little dance. A little victory dance. I know it's not happened yet, but it's gonna happen soon. <laughs> this might be the final wait, because tomorrow we're gonna because save a god, and we are really tomorrow. We can finally oh. put a plan into action! Oh! I'll hate them should be waiting oh. for us. Let's go to the academia and find him! This is so... Crazy! We're walking up, I think. We're walking up the stairs. We're going! Oh god, this is where we saw the Toto for the first time. I'll hate them. I'll hate them. You got a waypoint. I'll hate them. Hello, hey, I'll hate them. Sleep well? I was so excited I couldn't sleep. Couldn't close an eye. Uh, not really. Let's see. <laughs> I kind of got too nervous thinking about today and didn't fall asleep until the sun was almost out. Well, so did I, apparently, because I nodded. I'm still wondering how our girl is doing as well with the blue hair, you know, that was trying to help us? When we kept possessing people, I don't remember how that ended. Did anything end with her? Maybe we see her what again. What about you, Alhatham? He probably slept fine. Naturally, I slept just yeah. fine. After all, a good rest should be considered part of the plan, since energy is an important resource. I did sleep very well before recording this quest, so that's something. Y you just want to show off how calm you are! <laughs> I would do that too. It's crucial to dissipate any tension before we execute our plan. Yeah, fair enough. The only thing you're doing is being annoying! <laughs> anyway, do you need me to go over the game plan again? You know what? Just do it, because you never really told me. Just in case, want to confirm everything again. Our target is Grand Sage Azar's office. Okay. Everyone in the Academia knows that's where the Grand Sage's console is. Uh-huh. Only they can operate it. Sure. Why are you smelling your fingers? <laughs> what did you do? Many restricted commands and operations are executed via that console. Uh-huh. I'm sure that console has a way to free Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sure. You know, Paimon's been thinking, what kind of technology could let the sages imprison even a god? Yeah. That isn't something they could have accomplished with their scholarly talents alone. In the sanctuary of Suristhana, there's a device of Greater Lord Rukadevata's that she once oh. used to isolate herself while meditating. Look at that, because it didn't really look bad, right? It looked like a prison, and it was Dendro as well, so it made sense that originally maybe it wasn't used for something bad, which, here's the proof. 500 years ago, the Grand Sage at the time modified the device already. so that it can no longer be controlled from the inside. They were effectively trapping one god with the power of another. This was the Conria time already? I, I The timeline is so jumbled in my head, I don't know. So, uh, how are we going to get to the Grand Sage's office? Tell me we're good climbers, just climb. 
Don't forget. And the window. Today is Nyagarbaha Day. Uh huh. Arguably the most important day to the academia. Of course. Wouldn't it be obvious though that we break in today? The sages and core academia personnel are busy loading the latest batch of research developments and legal decrees into knowledge capsules okay. so that they can be entered into the Akasha. Sure. I do find it crazy that we're discussing this in front of the thing we're about to break in. All the Darshan's researchers have their noses to the grindstone. Okay. And the academia's grounds are flowing with all sorts of people. Sure. It's the perfect time for an infiltration. Mm -hmm. When the Grand Sage leaves his office to supervise the entering process, that's our cue to access the console and free the Denger Archon. Okay. When you put things that way, plan feels a bit unrefined. Well, yes. That's just the visible side of our plan, after all. Sure. If precedence holds, the Academia should have already started preparing for Nyagarbaha Day. Nyagarbaha Day. Okay, I'll try and remember how that you pronounce that. Everyone should be in position. All that's left is for us to lead the charge. <laughs> I don't really. Let's go. <laughs> really? Uh, so are we just gonna walk in through the front door? Or... <laughs> that's what I mean too. This feels so... It, it feels surreal that after five acts, we're just gonna walk in now. Yes. Were you expecting a stealthier approach? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Climb the side, get through, through a window? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> All right, it's all That's unusual. Sure. Your blood's on our hands, or other way around. My blood's on your hands, I'll hate them. Here we go. Can you believe it? We are entering the academia. <laughs> what? It just opens the doors automatically? Alright, we don't get to walk much farther. Are people sus of us, though? That's the question. S scribe? We haven't seen you in many days, Scribe. Yes, Giraffe. It's me. Please, wait. Are you Scribe Alhatham? No. <laughs> Calm down, Paimon. That's me. Is something the matter? I'm in a hurry. Uh, no. I was just surprised to see you here. I had heard that the sages were looking for you not long ago, mm. but I didn't know what for. Okay. And, um, also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. This isn't looking good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's fine. Because look, we're not guests. We're test subjects. Outside guests? How did you arrive at such a conclusion? Your groundless <laughs> inference shames the Haravatat Darshan. <laughs> what did you say? Yes. I'm the top student in Haravatat, and I earned third place at the last inter-Darshan debate. Third? Don't look down on me. You suck. Get first, nerd. That wasn't my intention. As your Haravatat senior, I just assumed that you possessed a greater aptitude for critical thinking. <laughs> the little, little posture, I love it. Look, based on what you already know, the purpose of my return and the reason they're here should be obvious. <laughs> Is that so? Wait a moment. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me the answer. Is this what they call gaslighting? The sages search for you, a blonde-haired traveler, outside guests... <laughs> So, from the start, the sages weren't looking for you, but this traveler? <laughs> Leave us alone, Gita. And you were gone from the academia for so long because... You were hunting them down. Hey, shh. Yes, you've proven yourself as the top student in Haravatat. I surmise you've arrived at the correct conclusion. <laughs> as I expected. Please, forgive me. I wasn't thinking clearly just now. Thank you for getting me back on track. <laughs> Absolute it's idiot. Nothing. We'll be on our way then. Later. All right. Thank you for your contributions to the academia. Leave us right? alone. Bye. Stinky boy. <laughs> oh no, there's more. Uh, what the heck just happened now? What did he just guess? Nothing. It's all fake. I'm afraid I don't know. You have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. He convinced himself of whatever truth he came up with. Yeah, there you go. That is the so-called pride of a scholar. Mm -hmm. If someone questions their academic facility, yeah. they will instantly feign understanding to keep up appearances. Yeah, I, I, it's so funny though. It's comparable to when you don't hear someone and then you ask them to repeat, and then you ask them to repeat again, and you still don't understand what they said, and you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and you're just clueless. Nowadays, the academia is rampant with this type of scholar. Right. Their obvious farces of intellect only serve to highlight themselves as fools. <laughs> So there are special ways to deal with smart people. Uh huh. We don't even need to make up our own. Well, excuses. they're not smart in the end. Is kind of the call. We shouldn't waste any more time. I agree. It would be problematic if we missed our window of opportunity. Yeah. Let's go. I agree. Come on, chop chop. Are we gonna follow him? Oh no. This is so cool though. Look at how pretty this place is. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my God, that's so cool. Cool. 
Enter the house of... I didn't read the rest. The house of... Hello? I'm in the house of... the. <laughs> Is this the Academia's library? So echoey. Indeed. Known as the House of Dana, Dana. it is quite possibly the most extensive special collections library in Tavat. Wow. But does it have the Tavat travel guide? Does it have Klee's little book? I don't think so. Shitty library. Uh, there are a lot of students going through here. Yeah. Is it really okay just to waltz right in? The crowd sometimes works as a cover. The Academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nagarbaha Day. Yeah. They're all occupied with their own matters. For sure. Just act natural. <laughs> now, hurry along. Act natural, but do hurry. Just me, the traveler. Actually, I should jump sprint, because that's, well, that's what my natural's like. Look at this place. Whoa. What's this platform for? It's a lift that academia oh. personnel use to access higher floors. And he has access, because he's a scribe. Are we going to take it then? The Grand Sage's office is up there somewhere. But this might be sus, though. No, yeah. not right now. We can't guarantee that we won't run into the Great Sage. Okay. Let's step back and observe for now. Let's go sit here. I definitely study here. Place looks so peaceful. Uh, I guess under I the bridge the works. Grand Sage will exit from there. Yeah, probably. Or like his guard first, maybe. And after he does, we'd sneak past him. Yeah. Oh, Paimon thinks that's really dangerous. Why? Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location, our operation will be much safer if we. Oh. Uh. Allow me to offer you a hint. Huh. If you huh. wish to know his location, <laughs> look behind you. Busted. <laughs> How did you hear that? Uh, you, you're, what's Grand Sage Azar doing here? Suspicious. Hmm. No way we got caught this quickly. Help! <laughs> Aramites, help! Do not tell me you believed the Academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence, scribe. You're weird. An eyewitness had informed hey. me of your whereabouts. By the way. So I came to personally welcome you. Elazar. You think there's a link? Or is it just Quinky Dink? Elazar? Man's name is Azar? Great Sage. I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm truly flattered. Real. I'm sure. But compared to you, I am far more interested in these two unexpected guests. <laughs> you are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? You pronounce it Retnos. Come on. It's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. <laughs> I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Let's talk. It's not too late for you to stop. Excellent. You immediately initiated discussion instead of attempting to prepare some perfunctory excuse. <laughs> You clearly understand the situation at hand. But of course. no intention of making a reckless stand. No, nah, you don't know about that yet. That's gonna happen later, but I can act like I'm gonna talk first. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please, <laughs> follow me to my office. Gladly, that's actually where I'm headed, so uh, perfect. Thank you, good sir. Let's go. I feel like, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, right? I'm glad I waited. Sometimes there's way more action in the movement of characters, you know? This place is crawling with guards. Yeah. There's no way out for us. As if we couldn't take them. All right then, traveler. What did you wish to discuss with me? Do you realize what you're doing, Azar? Today is Niagarbaha Day, so I still have many responsibilities to attend to. Mm -hmm. There is little time for idle chit-chat before I detain you all. The Fatui are not to be trusted. They have ulterior motives. Hmm. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. I'd say pretty much everything. If that is so, then you should be praising our great work rather than using your trivial misgivings in a futile attempt to sway me. You're an absolute idiot if you think... Why are you making the lights flash? If you think they're your allies. Trivial? Then tell me, what do the Fatui want from me? Benefits of some kind. <laughs> Worthless. No. Those are all completely worthless. Benefits, divine power. These materialistic words do nothing but debase our great work. And then what? You've done the work, then what? Creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create <laughs> a god. Even before he, his eyes became tiny, you could tell this man is completely insane. If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This is the pinnacle of human wisdom. Is it? Is there not something more every time? 
We shall regain a god's guidance at long last. No what? longer will we flounder in the interminable void of consciousness and knowledge. <laughs> Even Ermin's soul will be freed from its plight. Okay, and now, <laughs> now you really said something stupid. For our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize it. This is exactly how I feel, but I didn't know how to word it. You say it's the pinnacle of human wisdom, but in the end, you're still relying on a god. You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hands. With your degree of knowledge, you cannot even comprehend such an emotion. What about Lesser Lord Kusanali? It's like Sumeru didn't already have a god of its own. Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Lesser Lord Kusanali. What can she even do? You're about to find out. Care for the people? Fend off sandstorms? Fabricate silly fairy tales? <laughs> These are but child's play for the academia. Does that make us equal to the gods? What, does making one that would murder everything make you equal to the gods? We are a people favored by Greater Lord Rukadevata. Though I may have personally not seen it, our forefathers bore witness to true wisdom. This is Lord Rukadevata, though. The ascension of the Lesser Lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. They all ask, is that truly what true wisdom is supposed to look like? Wisdom also starts from nothing. You start from scratch. That's how it works. With that in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will not become embroiled in turmoil. That's already happened. <laughs> the desert's mad at you. What a pathetic justification! Do you really think that only the super smart or powerful should be able to call themselves God? <laughs> Shrugs. <laughs> I don't know what I could say or do. The arrogance of the scholars. Okay, let's make him find a fake conclusion for himself. As per your judgment, Grand Sage, they are indeed dangerous individuals. Not only are they acting against oh. the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Looks like there really was merit in my assignment. Oh, Haytham? Are you talking about us? <laughs> anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered, but it took some time and trouble. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's acting like he's bad now. That probably won't work. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. <laughs> this is the, this is our brain. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler. An array of information about her, ready for your perusal. <laughs> Pai wasn't listening to anything, so she's clueless about this. Which is probably for the best, because it's going to make it a lot more believable. I'll hate them. So you're... <laughs> You're an idiot, Paimon. We finally started to trust you! <laughs> We've been shut up. Oh, guys, I feel so bad. <laughs> it's all part of the plan, you numb nuts. There you go, mm. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors. I would expect nothing less than an immaculate report from the scribe. <laughs> he also added that in the capsule. <laughs> That's so good. As Even the getting caught was part of the plan, I guess. I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Surely you know what that means. Yeah, not everyone will praise the Lesser Lord. I know what it means. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. <laughs> With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted uh -huh. with an accuracy of at least 98%. 98! Furthermore, your Where's data will be year? updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. So what you're saying is I'm live streaming. To put it into words you can understand, wherever you go, you will be walking under an invisible leash. <laughs> this is Sumeru's greatest penalty for dishonest persons. Dishonest persons? When you say dishonest persons, does that also include your general Mahamatra? Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? Maybe. In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. <laughs> Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. Hey, put me with Nahida. <laughs> You're despicable! <laughs> despicable? Yes. Hmm. Perhaps from your perspective, but I suppose you had mentally prepared yourselves for this, no? In what sense? Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Lord Azar. I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? Don't tell me he read the capsule and he's like, this bullshit. <laughs> Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well. 
I will spill things out. Okay, let's go. I'm intrigued. Let's see if he knows everything. First off, I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the traveler at Caravan Rebot. However, you immediately departed for the desert and escaped surveillance range. Okay. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, maybe Paimon shouldn't have mentioned Sino just now. Idiot. The Academia had not received correspondence from its scribe for a prolonged time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of Lesser World <laughs> Personali, and General Mahamatra Sino, who had defected from the Academia. That's how you get info, though. You're a spy. With their instigation, what was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Rationally speaking, 50%? Uh, sure, 50. 70%? What do you think? 50-50. Uh, Regardless, that's only a guess. The facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my report. Uh-huh. Indeed, your boldness deserves praise. To think that despite status as an outlander, the Traveler is still willing to sacrifice for the sake of your plan. Right. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. This doesn't matter as long as he still enters the capsule into the Akasha. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day using Alhatham's status as the scribe, for there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. Uh huh. Should your intentions be discovered, Alhatham will turn traitor and sacrifice the Traveler, thus proving his innocence. He can then stay inside the Academia and continue searching for a way to proceed forward. So far, he doesn't know about the capsule. As for Sino, according to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the Academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? I don't know about that. I don't know about facing him. <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say. No, even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. Right. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. Okay. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. Sure. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru. Betrayed its Archon! He's lost patience. <laughs> I get it, though. Hmm. So flight is turned to fight at long last. Yep. Guards! Okay, let's see it. I'll hate them cutscene again, or what? I'm so This is so pretty, this color, and... Oh, man. Fighting! Cutscene. It is cutscene time. It's okay, Paimon. Oh. Oh, no. He's going in rage. Oh no. Wait, maybe he's learned to use the power? The unknown or forbidden knowledge? Wait, what? Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Has he done research on it and learned how to use it or. You traitor! <laughs> What? Even the most rational is scholar happening? will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Azar! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who's that? Who is that? Wait. Oh, it's just a guard. He has gone completely insane. Just like you? Oh, what? That was just a blade. Don't tell me he's dead. <laughs> Take him to the Matra. Okay, he's And not. exile him to Aru village. Oh, no. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. That's your mistake. I'll deal with them later. That's your mistake. Oh. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Are you gonna enter Excellent. the one we gave? You may begin. Idiot. That was the one thing that mattered, and you didn't figure it out. Was it all a plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, champ. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love it.
Investigate. Investigate what? <laughs> it's all intentional still. I love it. So many questions now though. Okay, so clearly that was all intended. Like we knew he would figure it out, but maybe the whole shock of the battle made him forget that our capture was there, or he just trusted it from the first place, which would be even stupider. Now, I don't know if the dropping of that Divine Knowledge capsule, if that one's also been influenced or not, we'll see. See, this is annoying. Probably at the end of this quest, we're gonna have the whole conversation, right, with the whole plan. There's no way this is improvising. <laughs> this has been planned. Oh, that is so crazy. <laughs> That's enough, Paimon. I don't think the guards can hear us anymore. <laughs> you can float through this. Paimon got a bit carried away there. How was Paimon backing just now? Great, huh? Yeah, marvelous, marvelous. Not bad, but it was worse than mine. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan so far. Don't say it. We made it into confinement, and all Haytham's probably done with his part too. Th there's no way no one listens to us here. That was close. We can relax for the time being. We even managed to trick Grand Sage Azar. All Haytham sure knows how to cook up a plan. I agree, but stop talking about it here. I like with is so much about learning that even in prison they give you a couple books. But honestly, look at this. We fit through these bars what are we easily. Doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. <laughs> Paimon has trouble remembering things either way. Let's review what we discussed during our strategy meeting. Oh, flashback? Right, right. Paimon thinks it went something mm, like this. No, flashback moment. No, uh, flashback. Here we go. A lot earlier, so. Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the first stage of our operation. Okay. Which is to send the traveler to the confinement room. Retnos, retnos. Okay. What? Why do we want to get her locked up on purpose? I can access... I can access Nahida. She's always been the person the sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to the successful implementation of their plan. Right. They are very aware of the risk she poses to them. Okay, so they will put their guard down when I'm locked up, I guess? Once the traveler is imprisoned, the sages will likely no. think that everything is under control. Sure. And with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a much higher chance of success. Okay. <laughs> I can already see the pompous looks on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that's a super tricky plan, but Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. Okay. That isn't the only reason, of course. She has a more important task once she's in confinement. He? What do you mean he? She? He even said she. According to the Academia scholars in Rahman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever since she was captured by the Doctor. <laughs> I'm she again. Here we go. Okay, sure. What is Sino doing with his hand? What is this? There's no bench here, Sino. That way, they can't pry any more information from her. Okay. Even if we break into the sanctuary of Surasthana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. Mm -hmm. We need to do that in advance. Is that my task? So our job is to wake up Nahida! There you go. Okay, totally worth getting thrown in jail for. <laughs> the confinement room is inside the academia. Close to the sanctuary of Suristhana. Okay. It's a completely enclosed space, and you won't be receiving any visitors. Sounds pretty good. I'm still surprised there's no, like, cameras or things of the sort. I'll work with Raman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha terminal. Okay. Once you're in, get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali and try to connect to her consciousness. Sounds good. However, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. Okay. Good. I like these little throwbacks, though. Very Sumeru. Uh-huh. Of course. I hadn't seen it up till now, I'll be honest. Paimon thought they'd take our Akasha terminals when they'd locked us up in here. Hmm. Were they being careless? I think there's a distraction, maybe, you know, of the... The distraction of I hate them going nuts kind of did it as well. Carelessness, but arrogance. They think the Akasha is completely under their control. Alright, so what now? Let's find Nahida. We best try to find a place with the best signal in this room. <laughs> then we try to connect with Nahida. Easy <laughs> it's enough. like me uploading we a video with 4G, huh? Nahida after all this time. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. There's a light flashing on your Akasha terminal. There it is. It's almost like <gasps> the faster it's it like moves, the better the signal. Crazy. Wi-Fi. So this is like the one we were looking for ores with our vision, which Lumine doesn't have, of course. Oh, investigate. Here? No signal again! This is so pretty is it and cool. Jammed? Let's try this. Whoa. Mora. It's Mora. <laughs> Ooh, Mora. <laughs> no, Paimon, 
and we're not here to hunt for treasure. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this. This is just a massive library, and no one cares about this place. These roots are taken over. Like nature has taken back what it owns, you know. And so Nahidi will take back her place. That's owned. Here? No signal again. Is it getting jammed? I don't know. S Lumine, stop. Stop it. <laughs> I want to try up. Oh, I don't want to try up. Apparently, I should actually look at the earpiece, huh? That would help. Here, look at this. You can just see everything. Yep. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm growing a sprout. Huh? Is this the right spot? Are you getting anything? I grew a hello. I grew a sprout. What? How does that have? Is this a Wi-Fi antenna? <laughs> it's faint, but I have a signal. Preparing to connect with her consciousness now. <sighs> Please work. I'm trying. Nihi, I'm coming. Nyum. I'm here, Nihihi. Psst, 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 it's me. Nihihi. Is this a realm of consciousness? Wow, she really is just knocked out, huh? Oh. I just only realized now. I guess I was supposed to wait longer between the is this and realm. Nihihi! <laughs> Don't have a scary face or like someone else's face. Nihita's not moving. She really has sealed off her consciousness. I need to think of a way to wake her up. Mmm. Flowers. Smell of flowers. Little dance. Oh, there's a barrier. Of course there would be a barrier. Looks like some sort of barrier? Isn't Nahida using this barrier to isolate her consciousness from the outside world? I feel like maybe we play an Adonada song or something. Nahida! Oh, we're speaking! Nahida! Hey, Nahida! I love hearing Lamine speak. <laughs> hey! I, I want to I make a sound effect with hey. Dang it, she isn't reacting. It seems like she can't sense me. Mm hmm? Or can she? <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you ah <laughs> ah again when did i'm the thinking curse start? please oh, forget me right it started from the moment i was born Nahihi? i want to become a worthy archon you will so i've kept studying oh my god kept listening to my people and their hearts uh-huh Kept looking for a way to save Ermin Soul. We found a way. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukatavata. That's you. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Sarastana. Turn around. <laughs> the sages are creating a god to replace me. Uh huh. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. We're here, Nihihi. Nahida! <laughs> Open your eyes, Nahi, please! I'm about to punch the wall, Nahida. What now? Is there really nothing I can do? But she's right here in front of me. I can't just give up like this. I had already left her behind once when the doctor first appeared. I can't do that again. I'm looking. This is so like such a cool picture as well. Nahida! Wake up! Hi wait, I'm cryo? What is this? I'm Animo. I'm Cryo. I'm Hydro. Nahihi! I'm trying to wake you up, bro! It's... so quiet here. Paimon, do high-pitched screech. It goes through the barrier. What can I think of? World forget me. I can think of that. I can think of an Aranara song. Something related to the moon. We've talked about the moon a lot. Maybe just light? Brightness. Maybe we need to brighten up the place. Now that I think of it, I don't think I ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Uh-huh. Do Archons have them? I don't know. Should Archons have them? Hmm, that's also a good question. Have I been doing the right thing? Yeah, I think so. Am I really not needed? I need you. How do I really feel about all of this? Turn around. <laughs> it's so quiet here. Are we gonna scream even louder? Since you're the god of wisdom. Uh, who's this? You've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't you? Is this Ruka Devata? Who are you? <laughs> Whose voice is that? Herself from the past? It sounds familiar. Who is it? You're right, though. <laughs> Why is this making me emo already? I won't... 
I won't ignore my own voice anymore. That is her own voice, no? Just the greater lord before she had the reset. Oh, it's breaking! Come on! Open up! Nahida! Nahida! <laughs> I did it! I'm through! Nahida! <laughs> hey! Nahida? <laughs> Can we give her a hug, please? Please? Did you wake me up? I tried. Thank you. Why are you here? You need to save the world, Nahihi. And I think you woke yourself up, I'll be honest. We're here to rescue you. <laughs> are you alright? Lumina speaking! I'm fine. It's just... What is it? When I think of everything that's happened to me, <laughs> I feel really angry now. Oh no. <laughs> Their true power is coming out. This game gets me tearing up every quest. <sighs> Stop. <sighs> you should have been angry ages ago. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Hey, Paimon, I'm deaf. Huh? Hey. Oh, you're back! How's everything? I'm gonna miss it. He is awake, <laughs> but we spoke. I think is almost more interesting. That's wonderful news. Great. We weren't locked up for nothing. Uh huh. When you went to wake up Nahida, Paimon was listening for any sounds outside. Okay. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. Okay. You think everyone's done with their Nya Garbaha day stuff? No, uh, I guess they finished entering all the knowledge capsules. Yep, so that means our next act is Nemo's performance! <laughs> Should we remove our Wi Fi antenna? It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of out there. Nilu, are you sure about this? Yeah. You're taking such a great risk for them. But our queen. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity <laughs> to dance. Nice. And this one is especially important. Good. <sighs> All right. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more on the subject. You need some more sleep, Sheik. But if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. That's okay. Don't worry. They've been through worse. Really? Everything's going to be fine. Uh-huh. What if there's no boss fight and Nahida just one-shots it? All right. In a cutscene. You know, if you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. Be careful, even if it's only for our sakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. Oh, it's this You're guy. You're so very kind. I didn't even realize. He's the owner of the theater place, right? Oh, I'm just actually Nilu? Whoa, okay. Anything else? Always remember that your safety comes first. Uh -huh. Don't forget <laughs> that you're the star of Zubair Theater. Right, of course. It's so quiet. It feels so empty. This isn't the way to the academia. Better stick to the plan. <laughs> but I want to look around so bad. Don't make me fail. I want to talk to Catherine. She's not there. Okay, okay. I'll stick to the plan. <laughs> we got a secret voice line. I'm happy. So it looks like with the capsule now in place, if Nilu performs, everyone's going to just start believing in the return of the lesser lord. I feel like that's kind of the plan. Farhad. Hi. Nilu, how's it going? Toy selling. Nervous? No way. It's the guys from the Star of the Aranata. Oh, no, wait. That event. Usual, but it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. Okay. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. The homies. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. What? Well, Stop fighting, nerds. Thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. I really, really appreciate all of your help. Good. Ooh, that sounds great. Huh. How can we say no to that? <laughs> This guy bothers me. All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia so they don't interrupt your performance. Okay. I was planning on telling them something like, the academia's been conducting a weird experiment, <laughs> and some of their test subjects escaped. Well... It's really dangerous there, so stay away. You know you're not wrong. Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? He's right, though. Oh. oh, well, I guess it does sound like something the academia that would do. That is something the academia have done. That's literally Scaramouche's story. I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Awesome. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Piece of cake again. Here it is. The cake is a lie. This is some kind of subliminal message. I feel it. Oh, look at this. 
Hey, Nilu. Hey. Sorry, it's great to see you, but uh -huh. I'm really busy right now. Huh. Our bait people away with Yalda Candy's plan is working beautifully. <laughs> Do you want some candy? Of course. We have more than we can give out. I love some candy right now. Vihar, thank you so much for doing all of this. And even dressed up as the Knight of Flowers, no less. <laughs> I'll pass this will on become the, candy, the new day. Though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance, and I'm about to start one. <laughs> Waves away. It makes sense. Instead of this being like the Academia celebrated day, it's going to become Lesser Lord Kusanali's day. It's great. <laughs> so this is fitting. You have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Sounds good. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. All right, time to hit the stage. Oh? You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm wondering one thing. Oh, cutscene again. Here we go. I, I'm not sure what the intent here is. We're trying to get people out of the academia? We're trying to awaken Kusanali? More? <laughs> I'm not tearing up. I refuse. Not again. Can we see? Above it, is that... I've never seen a performance like this. This is incredible. They're inspired. Yeah, but I heard that public performances like these have been banned. I can't believe she's doing this here. <laughs> Grand Sage, there's some commotion outside. <laughs> How uninteresting. Issue the love new it. Prohibition Act from the Akasha to the guards. They'll know what to do. They don't care. They believe in the uh, Lord now. Do you think we should, like, stop her? <laughs> Let's just watch for a little bit longer. Let's <laughs> focus <laughs> on this game of sanctuary. go inside the city and detain her immediately. <laughs> it's fake. not for her so I didn't I'm not sure if this was our plan or not they're all happy though oh there she is look our blue-haired bestie what now though we we're trying to just get all the guards away from there I <laughs> I don't know about this one I don't know about this one. Oh, door of resurrection we can die here <laughs> did you hear that uh-huh Sounds like a lot of guards just ran by. Okay, so maybe it is right. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Sounds like it. Sounds like Nilu completed her task. Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Yeah. Come to think of it, when did I'll hate them replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? I don't know. When he pretended that he had been corrupted. You remember when he rushed towards the Grand Sage? Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, so that's when he did it. Nice. Nice. I mean, we figured more or less, but this is cool still. So he did have one real and fake one, and he gave like a quote-unquote real one that the sage checked. He thought like, oh, this is good stuff, and then he swapped them around after. That's smart. Weird that he didn't get patted down, though. Paimon was too nervous to notice. I mean, I it makes sense, and that guard that shoved shoved the sage away actually helped. Speaking Dummy. of, didn't Alhazem also yoink the Divine Knowledge <laughs> yoink. Capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos <laughs> when everyone else was distracted? I can't believe he said yoink, and yes, he did. <sighs> It's a time-tested trick of his. He can maintain his composure when things get chaotic. That's why he can pull off this kind of thing. <sighs> why are we complimenting him? <laughs> yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil. Yeah, I get it. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. Okay. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Flashback. Paimon remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Here we go. All right. You meet with the flashback. Lead the guards now away. that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. Uh huh. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. Right. But Lesser Lord Couscous can now influence it again. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. Real. 
But this is also our chance. Mm -hmm. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was right. still at the Academia. Yeah. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Niagarbaha day. Right, and that's the one you just swapped. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? That was the idea? That's horrible! I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. Nice. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Yeah. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Yagarbaha Day, if someone were to be seen performing in public... <laughs> so even involving Milu was just intended from the start. The sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, the misleading information will be disseminated amongst the guards. Nice. Sure sounds complicated. But it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the academia without any effort. Yeah. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. Quite literally. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? That's because they've always, that's, we've talked about this before, haven't we? They've been born with this thing on their head. It's always been facts. It's never been doubted what's been said by the Akasha. People who are used to relying on there the Akasha go. become less inquisitive. Yeah. And their ability to distinguish truth from it's misinformation like an order is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. Yeah. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. Said it. I've seen it happen many times. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Himself The thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing too. Well, you had to help us destroy the Samsara, so... By the way... This plan still requires a performer, right? Mm hmm Do you have someone in mind? Mm hmm Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. <laughs> Is that why we decided to meet there specifically at that time of day? Probably, right? I'm kind of hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this, but we can ask her in person. Right. All right. After the guards in the Academia are gone... All right. That's where we are now. Then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. So do we? No way we get to trial D now. We've trialed every character related so far, right? I guess we haven't been. I'll hate them. Maybe not. That'd be so cool though. Oh. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the academia in droves. <laughs> this is so cool. I still can't believe that so many is six of them, but sure. Oh, more from bushes. After laying low in the city for so long. This is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> My brothers have already sprung into okay, action. Okay, there is more. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop. But outside the academia, this is our hunting ground. <laughs> With a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. <laughs> we still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Yeah, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries <laughs> and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day Exposing in the Exposing modern politics? The only advantage they might have is their numbers. Yeah, sure. Well, there's six of you, you're all stronger, it's fine. Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the six sages belong to the Corps of Thirty. But they have a completely different reputation. Okay. Following those blasted sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary. As uh, someone in the same profession, I'm obligated to teach him a good lesson today. I see. Indeed. The trap has been set. All we oh. need to do is lead them there. Is there going to be a massive cutscene? All right. With Let's fighting? each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Okay. Make sure to attract their attention. Isak will be the key. Wait, Isak was... Little guy, wasn't it? Little Isak. Wasn't Isak the guy from the village? You gave such an important task it to is. that child. Will he be okay? Yeah, sure, he'll do anything to save his gramps. It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Alright, well, I don't know if I... I don't know if I trust this variable, but sure. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. Yeah. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. Wait. Huh? Isak possessed by Lesser Lord Kusanali? Or you just mean Lesser Lord Kusanali will come for them and she's mad? You've got a point. Anyway, I think I see them coming. Let's head out. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Tell me I get to trial Dia. That'd be so cool. Please, I'll trial Dia. I don't think I'm trialing Dia. I wish, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <This outfit. laughs> of 
course. Hey, do you remember what you need to do, Isak? <laughs> when the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from Please them. Please have the cute run. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. That's cool, though. That outfit looks good, Isak. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about it's getting Halloween caught. too, so even if that happens, okay, one day we won't leave you behind. He's just in team. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Thanks, to Nina. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back yes. Lesser Lord Kusanali uh -huh. for helping Grandpa. Uh -huh. I won't get cold feet. That's so good. To be fair, Nahida only wears like straps around her feet, I'm pretty sure, so you might get cold feet literally. Hey, they're here. I can see the academia guards. Oh, this is so cool. How many? One, two, three, four. That's it. Four, four boys. That's it. All right, Isak. Right, time time to shine. Isak, take a deep breath and go. You can do that. Eat some chop suey. More stamina. You got this. Come on, champ. Let's go. Yo! <laughs> what is this? What is this cam? <laughs> this is so crazy. Why is there a guard over there? I don't know. Did he already run ahead of me? I don't know, dude. Mm, this is different from our oh. plan. But there's no time. Oh. I need to make a choice. Behind the house. Yo, this is so cool. Actually so cool. <laughs> Let's have a look behind the house. Bro, what the hell, man? <laughs> Why not the field? What should I do next? Hide towards <laughs> the left. Looks like nothing's here. Whew. A waste of time. Juked. Idiot. Haha. <laughs> Peek out. <laughs> oh, luckily he didn't check behind the tree. Okay, let's wait for him what to walk a bit further. Next? Return to the position behind the house. This is so cool. Mm, the guard looks alert. What should I do next? Keep waiting. Of course. Doesn't seem like anything unusual is around here. Hey, <laughs> dummy. This is the coolest mechanic we've had in so long. <laughs> looks like the guard finally left. I need to go. You got this, Isak. This is so cool, like, they, they keep adding new things to quests like this. Weren't we supposed to get caught by guards though? Oh, there you go. Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! <laughs> Stop! Well, how would you know? What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? How did I not notice that? Dumbass. Uh, they found me. me. This is bad. Where should I go? Can they go towards the Grand Bazaar? That's where we have to go. The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar. <laughs> Assemble and arrest him. Dummies, it's all part of the plan. Start running. I love us to hide and seek music as well. Windbloom, Windtrace? Windtrace, I think. Okay. Hey, boys. Where did she go? How did she disappear? <laughs> did we lose her? <laughs> Hurry up and find her. Ambush. Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? <laughs> oh wait, maybe I should have ran around to group up more guards? I'm not sure how it would have worked. Hurry, hurry! <sighs> oh. This place is... <laughs> Why are you all here? <laughs> okay, never mind, it still worked. Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? <laughs> Everybody's here. What on earth is going on? Oh, that's so good, Rama. Honestly, I'm very happy for him that he finally gets to get some revenge too. I suppose that's all of you? <laughs> Who are you? Did you set us up? Yes. What are you planning? To kill you all, I guess. <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. You did great, Isak. Little brat. So you're not actually lesser Lord Dab on him. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the desert? Couldn't you tell from their outfits? Why are you shaking so much? Why does this keep happening? Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or a personal grudge. <laughs> After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. <laughs> That's so nasty. Oh, here we go. Yo, Hucky Whist with those big hands. There we go. Here's more. All right. There's at least five more, guys. We good. Huge. Oh, battle stance. Look at him. He's bobbing like he's in Street Fighter right now. An ambush? How's that possible? <laughs> This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! Uh-huh. You've spent all your time hiding away in the academia. This place has long since become <laughs> our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Oh uh, yeah, okay, cutscene or what? Cutscene or Dia gameplay? Hmm... This is odd. The academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Niagarbaha Day ceremonies. Mm-hmm. 
But it's much quieter than usual. Is it now? Where are the guards? I don't know. Why have I not seen a single one? I wonder. Guards? Guards! Nahida, please walk up. Walk up slowly. Well, actually, Nahida can't, right? She's still trapped, but her consciousness is free. So we can walk up, because we have to go to his office to disable it. We're walking up. <clears throat> Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? Is he a guard? I called for the guards. Why did you come? They're all dead. Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. <laughs> right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the order to rest. I thought you knew. <laughs> he didn't know. He doesn't know. Arrest? Mm -hmm. Who is there to arrest? Mr. Lord Kusanali. I have an ominous feeling. Do you now, Azar? Maybe a bit late, isn't it? Uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Well, that's what the Akasha said. Oh my god, the tech has failed us. Maybe we're not so advanced after all. You know? Maybe it is a bad idea to create a god with human hands Lesser that are flawed. Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? She's out in the city, dude. Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. You little prankster, you day. <laughs> you day. More like my day today, am I right? <laughs> right now, everyone is in a panic. Me and day. many are saying Me that... Day. That lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. It is true. What happened? Just what is going on? You've been bamboozled. Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped? Yes. Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? Yes. Weird that he doesn't just go and check, because he knows where she is. That's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Mm -hmm. Besides, Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. But there's more moving pieces. What manner of trickery did they employ? <laughs> Deceive. How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? It's an Archon. Disappear? Wait. <gasps> oh no. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? Through the Akasha. It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Mm-hmm. Let me check. Mm-hmm. Slow walk. Jumps off. <laughs> Jumps off the bridge, does. <sighs> Ah, here. Ah, yes, I found a capsule that I always keep on me. Or is he googling, or I guess akashing through his ear right now? Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Sarasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. Hey, that's not what it says. The Akasha indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. Uh huh. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? He's going nuts. I think it's echoing, right? Was it the report about the traveler? That Alhatham submitted? Uh huh. No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been uh -huh. a red herring? It was indeed, good sir. It was a red peach of Sumeru. I forgot the name. Well, even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Expected. Have you been to the sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? You do it, old man. Confirm? N no I, I haven't. That's not his task. It, it may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. <laughs> if we have to confirm his the world is being put from into the Akasha channels. ourselves, Everything's being put into doubt. Then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? Uh-huh. Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? It would indeed. This is even in the greater scheme of things, it also has effect. I didn't even think of this. In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Rukadavata. Hmm. <laughs> Are you trying to use my words against me? Yes. N no, yes. Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. You should. <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. Oh? I'll go to the sanctuary of Suristhana on my own. Goodness. Told you it wasn't his task, and the sage would go himself. Here he goes. Y yes, Grand Sage. Don't slip. Another transition. We are in so many places during this quest. It's kind of crazy. The Grand Sage Azara arrives the sanctuary of Suristhana alone. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Uh huh. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. Uh huh. Are we gonna sneak up? <sighs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. <laughs> it must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. Okay, there has to be some kind of trick here, right? This was expected too, I'm sure. Ah! Uh. Is it actually empty? 
No way. Impossible. She's just straight up out. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. I think this is also a meme. I think she's still in, because we haven't freed her yet. The office is empty now, though, so we can free her. But we've definitely... Is there a mirror? <laughs> something? <gasps> what is it, Azar? Oh, she is there. Okay. Nope, she's not there. And she's there again. Well, this is like Albedo. <laughs> what a comical sight, Azar. <laughs> it's not us, it's Sido. <laughs> Hi. Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts oh, into your head, is gonna be cool. even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. Yeah, absolute bonkers, man. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. Uh huh. And precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. Mm hmm. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Nice. Sino, have you been waiting for a chance like this? Yes. How come? Did the Akasha not calculate this would happen? Are you saying this technology is faulty? <laughs> the Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me. But I didn't expect <laughs> it to turn out like this. Right. I was careless. I was wondering, because we hadn't heard the plan, right? So. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. <laughs> You're still the same as always. Are you gonna walk down? Super I badass. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. Yeah, well, expect the unexpected, bro. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my <laughs> actions anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then tell me, what have you found during your investigation? That you, in fact, are a moron. Nice sandals, though. You want to buy time. This is the sanctuary of Suristhana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. <laughs> no one will come to save you. As for the investigation... Is he gonna punch him? I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. Nice. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? You already did, kinda. No. I want you to plead guilty Ooh. in front of the Archon herself. Ooh. You think his pride can take that, though? You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how <laughs> about judgment in the name of a god? <laughs> yeah. But wait, are, no, we're punching him, right? Cutscene? No, we're just back. How long do we have to wait? I don't know. So do I, and I, I still get snippets, and I still want to know how it's like. <sighs> Paimon hasn't heard any sounds outside for a while. Hopefully something bad didn't happen. Think like that. We must trust our friends. Yeah, but aren't you scared that we might be locked up in here for the rest of our lives? <laughs> no. <sighs> Thinking about it, at least Paimon has you. We could still chat like this. You call this chatting? You're the only one doing the talking. I'm just listening. When Paimon thinks of Nahida being imprisoned alone in the sanctuary of Suristhana, Paimon can't help but feel sorry for her. Well, we're out. <laughs> That's all it took. Who is it? Dia! Here comes your savior. Thank you, Dia, my queen. I smile at you once more. Dia! <laughs> No, oh, yeah, totally was not saying we'd be stuck here forever. Right, you were scared out of your wits just a moment ago, Paimon. You two really owe me some big thanks. <laughs> I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. Uh huh. It felt even more tiring than whacking them. <laughs> I'm exhausted. What do you want this time? More than a smile? Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? There you go, a shoulder rubbing. <laughs> Is this actually gonna be a thing? Uh, n no, n no, that. Uh, <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> That's really good. What are you afraid of? Oh, are you tickled? <laughs> I'm undoing this pose at me would actually be the scariest thing. Uh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. <laughs> How are things going outside? How's Nahida? Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the academia are all taken care of. Nice. The Corps of 30 is in charge of the city's defenses, but we already talked to Asfand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. Nice. As long as it doesn't break their employment contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. <laughs> Good. Because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. Right. So, how's 
Mario doing? He's okay so far, it seems. The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's <laughs> hands, so he probably does too. I'm sure he was the one issuing the orders. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. I really want to see how that went. So, hurry to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Okay. Assuming nothing weird happened. Oh, don't say that. We should have already rescued our Archon. Oh, don't say that. Here, look, another smile for you. Sounds amazing. We managed to rescue her. Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. What do you mean? We just came together last minute to save the Archon, you know? We've been through so much, though. All right, you two better go. Sure. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. All right. See you around. Take care. The, uh, my queen, my savior. I feel like, oh. Wow, we're just out now. Man, look at that, at the waypoint. Alright, see you later. So, I don't know if I recorded this, but my guess was that this is where the next weekly boss would be. So, I don't think it went all that smoothly, you guys. Although, it's just a cutscene, and not a battle prep entrance. Couscous. Nahida! <laughs> Nahida can fly? Oh, there she goes. Hey, Nahida. <laughs> Nahida! <laughs> My tiny bestie. Let's go. Come on, we need to give her a hug. I need more hugs in Genshin. It's so cold. Nahihi. <laughs> they say it's nice to meet you? Yeah, I think you could say that. We haven't seen each other in person yet. This is the first time we've met in real life. I know. Before, we've only met in dreams. Yeah. In consciousness. Mm -hmm. Or when I was in someone else's body. We finally meet, Nahida. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me. <laughs> but... I also need to apologize. I think it's fine. During this time, I did some self-reflection. My sense of inferiority and yielding to the academia led to all of this. Yeah. And created so much trouble for you all. You're just a tiny bean, Nikita. It makes sense. Everyone doubts themselves sometimes. What's important is, you came back. Don't worry. You also helped us a lot. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! We're besties! <laughs> Thanks, you too. <laughs> Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. I'm kind of surprised she could stand. I, I expected her to maybe crawl at the start. But <laughs> it would have been a bit much, maybe. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or was only now born into this world. Oh. In a way, maybe this was her quote-unquote birth. My concept of self has become so clear. <laughs> <laughs> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Academia's God creation plan. Saving Ermin's soul. Aren't these both um, things we're gonna do still today? It's really embarrassing. You all just rescued an Archon. <laughs> and now she needs your help to save her country. Uh -huh. And even the entire world. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. With you here, Paimon's sure that everything will work out. Me too. There's one more thing. Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> for all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the oh. name of wisdom, <laughs> as their Archon, I will make them pay. Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh. Angry Nahida. Ah. Ah. Wow. That's the spirit. <laughs> You're finally standing up for yourself and Good. not letting people walk all over. You. Very good. <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. Sure. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, <laughs> how can you be a butterfly? This is knowledge that only you yourself could have discovered. Yes, true. <laughs> hmm, that reminds me. I wonder how far along the Academia is with their god creation plan. Pretty damn far. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. Real. I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. <laughs> nice. First things first. I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akasha. Oh? Okay. What kind of restrictions? After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permission. Nice. The Akasha will then be like how it originally was. Nice. Only operable by the Archon. Let's go. After all. The Academia betrayed Greater Lord Ruka Devata's trust. This is true. This might take oh. some time. In the meantime, you should also work on your own preparations. Don't end this here. Don't make me wait. No, 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 no. If we don't stop the God Creation plan in time, uh -huh. we'll be in for a tough fight. Yeah, for sure. No, 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 no. Might as well prepare for okay. a fight. Oh. Oh, uh, the longest day. Dead. Okay. We can take a walk around. <sighs> After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when <sighs> we were locked up. V 
Viraf? Oh, you're that idiot the that let us in. Traveler? Hi. How did you come out from the sanctuary <laughs> of Surasthana? Huh? It's normally forbidden to enter that place. Oh, that? Yeah, I'm staying there. I'm a VIP. Uh, sorry, we don't know the rules here. <laughs> it's fine. Just pay more attention next time. Anyway, I'm looking for Grand Sage Azar. Oh. Have you seen him? Yeah, in prison. The more I think about it, the more I believe there's something fishy about Al Haytham's return. Really? I need to let the Grand Sage know somehow. <laughs> We're literally a part of his return, but whatever. Starting, but two and two together. <laughs> Paimon, don't give it away. Wait, what is he thinking? I see everything. Not nothing? That was cute though. The little jump. That was different. Hey. She's freed now. Hey, this is lore. This is real. We're up and we're down. That was quick. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm going home. I'm going back in, dude. Okay. Still no boss prep screen. Hello. How's it going, Nahida? Hey, Nahihi. I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Great. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. It's almost like you designed I think it. Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant. Maybe I'm still wrong. Maybe she isn't. But I, I, I really think that's what the quest told us, right? Oh, also, this is for you. Oh my god, what is this cute little bunny thing? Whoa! Huh? What's this little floaty thing? It's so cute! It's a new Paimon! It's a small device I put together just now. Yo! You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. Is it a pet? Yo, replace Paimon. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. It's so stretchy. <laughs> Why is it such a cute shape? Wait! This thing has the same characteristics! <laughs> Yeah, white, floaty, maybe smart though, so not the same. We're both small things that float! <laughs> Wait, you admit it yourself? Aww, all the things that make Paimon special got copied! <laughs> when Paimon appears with the Traveler from now on, people won't remember Paimon because she isn't unique anymore! <laughs> Are you actually upset? It looks completely different from you. <laughs> it's alright, Paimon. It can't replace you. <laughs> it's only a flying device. But you're the traveler's irreplaceable friend. Mm? <sighs> you're so good at comforting people, <laughs> Nahida. If only the traveler was as smart as you. What? Nah, nah, nah. I'm replacing you mm? for real. I was simply telling you what I feel to be the truth. I wasn't <laughs> trying to comfort you. <laughs> Even the flying pattern is the exact same as the infinity symbol. Nahida, you're a natural at this. What you just said made Paimon even happier. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> oh. there's something I need to confess. What is it? Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, uh -huh. I'm not very good at fighting. I think it'll be fine. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. Uh -huh. However, I'm not as well loved as Greater Lord Rukadavata. Well, he put that in a capsule though. Maybe people do love you. No. If we get into a situation where combat is our only option, mm -hmm. I'll have to count on you, and I'll do my best to provide support. Don't worry. Fighting is my forte. I'm glad I can rely on you. Of course. Hmm. So the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? That actually sounds about right. What do you mean? What I've are you tossing? I've located where the false God is. Oh. Time is of the oh. essence, so let's skip to it. Okay, so I was completely wrong. It's not here. Or, or is it? It is! Eee! Guys, we're in here. Look at this place. Take a picture. Everyone hold hands! Boop. <laughs> Going in. Deus Foundry. I get it. Deus. God. Oh, creating a god. Yes. We are using human wisdom to create a god. Azar. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Yeah, I'm bringing the Of course I'm bringing the What kind of question is this? Luminin? Nahidin? Nilin? It also. It all makes sense. Cutscene. Maybe. This oh. Place? Wow. Is it this really is really a foundry. the way we need to go? Oh, uh, yeah. The god foundry. Wow. Who would have thought there'd be a place like this? Hidden right slap bang in the middle of the city! I'll be honest, I kinda did. <laughs> What's this broken down the stuff behind them? wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. Yeah. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Sure. Hmm, that's true. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Mm hmm, and technically three, because they're, this is two in one. Judging from the structure here, mm -hmm. the project is a huge undertaking. Clearly. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. Wouldn't you get bored though? After you've done your ultimate goal, then what? 
But this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the Academia alone. Yeah, the Tori and the Fatui are into it too. The Fatui under the Doctor sure didn't hold back. Of course. They provided a lot of technological support. It's to help one of their own Harbingers become a god, after all. Yeah! Or else they wouldn't have been that generous. No, I believe so. Is that it, though? Yeah. I've always felt that this doctor is different from the Academia Sages. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Hmm. Maybe he knows more about the world resetting. Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. That's even worse. <laughs> that literally means that he's a freak. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. <laughs> yeah. So... The doctor being weird is actually normal. Yeah. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? Yeah, Scaramouche. We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. Mm -hmm. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. He's a puppet. He's like you in the sense that he's also a little bean and needs to understand more things. One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. Yeah. The other obsession is probably related to his past. Mm -hmm. I can't quite explain it. We can. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. Yep. I don't know if this will ever be clear, or if it is clear already, but in a way, isn't it like Egg could've just made sure that he never got to do anything again, just like ended him, I guess. But instead, she just let him live his own life, and he sees that as being rejected instead of being given freedom. Maybe I'm wrong on that, though, I don't know. That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly! There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject! Now with that temper and ego of his... <laughs> Real. It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. Yeah, we've had a few encounters, but none of them were pleasant. I see. Tell me more about him and what he's like. He's sad. He hates people, because... He's lost many dear friends. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any future Oh, Nahihi's actually gonna fix him. Nahihi, I can fix him. You tell Nahida everything you know about the Balladeer. This is gonna be really cool. Ah, I see. How fascinating. Yeah. Alright, time to go. Sure. Let's get through here and meet him in person. Okay. Here it is, guys. The one we've probably all been waiting for the most. This is crazy. Actually crazy. Oh, I can't take a picture here, unfortunately. Really now? Hi. No! No! I need to die to your own little virgin. There you go. This place is so cool. I'm so s I really hope we get to reuse all this stuff in the future, because look at how much effort's been put into this. I keep saying it, always. Imagine, though. It looks like we can climb up these pipes. Uh, sure, I'm blind. For real though, look, I I mean, I really have, for some reason, always been into like steampunky ish aesthetics, and this looks very much like that. Probably weekly. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Whoa. Now that, that's really cool. Oh, hey. Wait, he's actually fightable. Alright. Whoa. An elevator? ground seems all messed up. Huh? Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Okay. Let's continue. Sure. This is cool. Hey. Don't mind me. Calm down, dude. <laughs> no need to be like this. Oh, this is fixed? Okay, there's a lot more. I see. This is so pleasing. This is such a pleasing, puzzling experience right now. We've been on this for so How do I keep doing this? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Not leaving these behind. We're instanced. Even more, that should be it. Yeah, looks good. And then I saw over there is a locked chest as well. I, I think this is incredibly cool. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and allergic to it. But I'm really into it at the moment. What a mistake, good sir. Thank you. Alright, a little common chest. There we go. Should be it. I feel like there's something behind this. I feel like there's no way they would make that thing go behind it if there's nothing there. So I want to check. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Okay, this might be a giga waste of time, but at least we'll have tried. Oh, look at me, I'm tap dancing. <laughs> All right, it's still still not very comfortable for Lumine. It seems like I was bamboozled and there's nothing here. I wanted to hope, I wanted to wish there was something here though. It would have been cool. It was worth it, okay? We're exploring, it's all cool. <laughs> she makes a little heart, I believe. Or is it just a dendro symbol? It definitely looks like a heart. Door of Resurrection activated once more. Hey, boys. Oh, more! Oh, wow! A sissy mage! Haven't seen one of those in a while. Hey, thank you. Here we go. Our last little vessel thing? I don't know what you'd call this. One more? Yeah. Okay. Oh. It opens. Oh. 
It is actually an elevator. Uh huh. Yeah, it is. For a second, I thought it was one of those spikes, you know, that we found in Dragon Spine and the Chasm as well. In we go. How exciting is this? I think it's pretty damn exciting. I have no idea how it's gonna go from here. We're just gonna punch him and that's gonna be the end of it? I guess the Sage is locked up and everything. This is really the last big problem. Looking at its operational status, mm -hmm. we must prepare for the worst. Sure. The god they wanted to create is likely close to completion yeah. or already completed. I know, we we witnessed it. He said it himself as well that it was almost done. Oh no. What should we do? Paimon can't imagine how hard it would be to fight against that Fatui Harbinger with a Gnosis. Yeah. Are you nervous, Paimon? Of course she is. If you really want to know, <laughs> of course Paimon's nervous. Aren't you too, Nahida? Uh, no, I don't think. She doesn't seem nervous. Yes, I am. This is probably the first time I faced with a calamity of this degree since my birth. Right. I feel not just nervous, but curious as yeah, well. That's what I meant. Maybe curious is... I, I'm definitely curious too. Curious? Curious about what? About what's gonna happen, how it's gonna go, what he's like, what the strength is like, everything, what's gonna happen after. Curious about our fate. Yeah. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. Of course. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. Sure. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur. Uh-huh. So it has always drawn my curiosity. I get that 100%. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's a really cool way to look at it. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. Mm-hmm. It all brings me great satisfaction. <laughs> And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. Yeah. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? It's very exciting. I want to see what's beyond that door. Ah, so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. Yeah, I'm, always, I'm also looking forward to it. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. All right. Here we go. Cutscene, maybe? Not yet. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Go through the balladeers. I didn't do anything. I stood there. How do we unlock a teleport waypoint? That's a cutscene, if I've ever seen one. And our cute bunny's here. Oh my god. Oh. It might be more of a Devalin type fight again. This boss doesn't look like you can be there all the time. Look. I think it's like a crazy battle like this. No, oh, this is gonna be intro every time you fight him. Who would have thought Me. the world would oh, be so no. eager for my birth? I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom, Boor. and standing beside you, the traveler. Is he all knowing and powerful now, like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? <laughs> Seems like it. No. I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. She's so quiet and it calm about it. It seems the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. Oh. But even still, good. He has undoubtedly become a true god now. Uh, okay. So we're too late. We win the this. The has already, already become a god. <laughs> the balladeer. We win this. It's no a long longer. bygone title. Yeah. When my spirit ascended to divinity, uh -huh. I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Okay. Looking back, the existence of what it once called work. itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Alright. That's some old lore about Inazuma. How can you call yourself a god? Shuki no Kami, the prodigal everlasting god of thunder or something. Aura. I assume. It really I feels like god! Was too quick. Can you really call yourself a god when you're really just a transformer right now? You're in a little suit of armor. That's not fair. A body that capitalizes on the balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, mm -hmm. with the gnosis serving as a constant power supply. Is that it right there? Ah. Oh. How much effort no, and resources not. did the sages put into this? Uh, everything. <laughs> From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. Sure. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. I don't know about that one. If you're really that smart, I feel like you should know that creating a god probably isn't a good idea. 
You sure are something. Dishing out compliments <laughs> at a time like this. <laughs> I get it. It's cute. But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. Nah, he's still mad arrogant. He's still same old Baladir on the inside. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing, though. Strife is engraved upon every no, god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Of course you would have a Kairagi voice all pixelated. Can you feel it? What? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Not really, if I can be honest. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you! <laughs> Do you not realize? That you are interrupting <laughs> a conversation between gods, Bro. lowly creature, know your place. Yeah, well, I'm pretty confident she's also a god, just based on speculation. How is this guy still so arrogant? He doesn't feel like a god at all, he's just a kid in a god's body. <laughs> still the same balladeer we know. The strife engraved upon a gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, mm -hmm. all those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. Okay. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. Why? Why would you want to slaughter people? This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. Well, maybe we don't know the full depth of it, but it doesn't seem like the other Archon care that much for power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. But from now on, Nahida's followers will only continue to increase in number. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. Yeah, that's what you think for now. He must not know anything about Conria or our brother or that whole story, because if he did, he'd probably know we have a little bit more importance, I'm sure. This is where everything ends, Boor. The god of wisdom. Boor? Is Boor like the demon name equivalent? Just like what they keep saying about the other Archon, that all Archons have demon names? I feel like this sounds very... You know, that angle. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. I'm sure knowledge will come in handy. She doesn't even care. Come. <laughs> come. <laughs> Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Huh. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. What do you mean reenact? This specifically? The Dendro and the Electro Archon fighting? Hello! Yeah, it is It is one of these. Okay, exciting. Um, I'm not sure what I have to punch. I'm just kind of zigzagging. Alright. Pick up energy blocks generated during the battle to charge Neo Akasha Terminal and activate the elemental Shatter! matrices. Hey, Animo. Oh. T. I pressed T. I don't know what it did at all. You're losing a lot of health though, man. Yeah, he's all the elements. There's no way this is the full thing. He's almost dead already. Why is there all elements on the floor? I won. <laughs> I won already. Come on, Lumine! Come on, Lumine! Oh. Uh oh. He he bubbled us for sure. Not this again. This is literally second phase, like child. This is literally second phase. Yeah. 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 Nah, that felt a bit too- yeah, okay, I was talking Transformer, I was memeing, this is- this- this actually the circle that Egg has behind her as well. Oh my- this is- <laughs> So, okay, I had to pause, because he was gonna punch me. This is like a mix. Don't yawn now, this intense battle. There you go. It's a mix between the Valen fight and child fight. She's gonna yawn again. She's really taunting this guy, huh? Okay, so this is the real fight now, huh? Let's have a look. He has a shield of some sort. Um, this does absolutely no damage. What are these things? Do I have to destroy it? Ow. 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 He truly is a god. Ow. Blew up on me. Ow. That also blew up on me. Okay, it was... It was... It's... I think it was Cryo. <laughs> How do I deal with this guy? Tremble. No. Got him. Got him for 300 damage. Only like 2,000 more of those and we won the battle. Okay. Oh! We're supposed to not be able to do anything, huh? 
Lumine looking super cool though in the cutscene. Okay, solid strike through the head with the dual blade. It didn't work. Oh my god. Wind blade! Ow! Ow! We're alive? That punch was so dense though. Nihihi, I'm gonna need some help. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> She's fine. This, this was all her plan. Her wits. It's empty. Oh. Nihihi! You had a plan, right? This is supposed to be wits. a battle between gods. Yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now? You're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. She would. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? No. There's no way she didn't mean this. Where is it? What is in those things? The data collection is almost <laughs> Of course she would have planned this. How many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, buddy. Huh? We just concluded the 100. Oh my God! <laughs> what? Where did Samsara? You know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact <laughs> same number of Subzeru's festivals and Samsara cycles. Oh my God! The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? Yo! That was just it? That's so cool! Hey, little guy. <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. How are you still arrogant? You what got you outplayed, hope to though. Achieve with this little trick? Change your mind, maybe. Come, traveler. Just like before. <laughs> Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. Oh, and we keep getting experience from it in the fight? Oh, that battle experience. That's so it's cool! More than that. More than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of there the Akasha. Uh-huh. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. <laughs> I've asked them... To help you find a way to defeat the false god. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> now, all of Sumeru's wisdom is at your disposal. <laughs> Holy shit. Tricks won't save you. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. let's do it. Whoa. What? What just happened? Why were we in the middle of the forest for a second? We know this. 168 times experience. Hey champ. How's it going? You wanna go? Are you done with your tricks? Are you? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? Sure. I'll leave this to you. <laughs> the first sage. A boar. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? A what do you mean? Mine to I'm the dominate. Oh, run. I didn't get hit. Easy. Oh, we can tough. Yo, I need a second. I need a second. Let me blow my nose from sobbing. Don't be chilling like this. We're like in the middle of the craziest fight. Okay, what build are you on? <laughs> Whoa. I can't help it. This game makes me sob every time. He kept calling her Boor, but now she accepts that she's Boor. <laughs> Look at that. So cute. 
She accepts that she's Boer and we're the first Sage of Boer? Is that, our, is that a title equivalent to Honorary Knight or is that a huge lore drop about the past or something? Dude, first Sage of Boer though, I'm adding it to my list of titles. Okay, here we go. Yeah. We're fighting for real now. So we have a lot of experience. His shield is just slowly dropping by itself. Ow, stop it. Stop it. I'm not sure what's happening. It's my little my little thing is just keeps gunning him. Get him, champ. Get me, dude. Get him. This thing is so cool. It's actually so much more useful than Paimon. It's just gunning. I'm finally for there we go, that thing. <laughs> and press T now. Hold and aim Hold and aim Oh! Yeet! Whoa! He dodged it! Yeet! <laughs> oh my god! Yeet! Nah, not this again. I've saw I've seen this before. Can't hit me, I'm not hee hee, and I got tiny legs, but I'm still quicker. You angry. I'd be angry. I'll use this. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? Destroy. Ow. Regenerate energy blocks. Ow. Stop. Get absolute. Oh. That <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Give me energy blocks. <laughs> we can't reach up there, it seems. Things are about to get dicey. Beep, 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 beep. Let's How do I reach this? Grow, grow, grow. I'm out of stamina. Ah. There we go. <clears throat> Setsuna Shumetsu cometh. Uh oh. Guys, I missed it. I'm being destroyed right now. Your new god! That's oh probably gonna one shot me no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> that was an achievement to fail that. Now, Res Nahiki. Your eyes have been open. Have they? I just didn't understand how to tell the tag. Like, I think I can extinguish this. Here we go. End this. Kneel. No. I'm busy. Boop. Here we go. There's one. There's another one. I dodged everything as well. Tremble. Oh, that was. Ah. Maybe I shouldn't be Nahida when I'm one health. It's not easy to fight a god with tears in your eyes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, one more little chunk and we're there. We got another fat attack on our way. Okay, here we go. This time I should be able to deal with this. He's gonna do this move. I punch him anyway. That's how little I care. Run! Run! You've spoken so much today, I can only be thankful. I don't know what this is. I'm dodging it easily though. Okay, here we go. Here's another chunky dog. Hey. Uh catch. Fuck. Well, you dashed into it. You're an actual baby. Eef. Eef. I can't. I can't kneel, it's not a feature. That's not quite where I aimed, but. I Lumin. Oh, I didn't get the press key. That's so much less badass. We got him though! Scar, you alright, dude? I thought you were God. Filthy humans. What about them? <laughs> the biggest taunt of them all. She just quietly flies up. Hey, you alright? Don't you realize? Boop. Give me that. <laughs> Cleanse his soul, Nahihi. No. Yep. Wait. No. Please. No. Anything but the gnosis. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to feel bad for him right now. Wait for it. Oh, careful! Don't die. It's mine. Don't die Don't now. Don't even try. No, I, it's done. I'll never. I'll never go back. Go back where? <sighs> Tell me he's cleansed. Don't let him die though. Don't let him die. We catch him. Why would we just let him fall? <laughs> Guys, where's our slightest bit of empathy? We <laughs> haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. No. Herman's soul is still waiting to be saved. That's true. With the power of another Gnosis, 
We may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord oh. Rukadavata. Okay. Pro. What? This is. That's right. What is this it? is the last memory. The last of memory. My predecessor. Are we gonna see that now? Don't end this on me. Do not end this on me. Oh, we're here in person. Yo. <laughs> the story quest is so long. This sure seems very different from what Paimon imagined. Shouldn't Ermin Soul be in this realm of consciousness? Whoa, I need a second. The amount of stuff that's just happened in the last like half an hour hour is ridiculous. Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata to be as polluted as this. Polluted? Surely not. It must be due to forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge? Yeah. It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Of course. Kind of surprised we've never mentioned what we saw in that pyramid earlier to her. I guess we were in a hurry. You tell Nahida all about what you had learned in the desert. Oh, well, there you go. Mm, your inference seems logical enough. Uh huh. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, yeah. but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshret's self sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadavata nearly exhausting her power. Mm -hmm. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. Yeah. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermin Soul itself already in danger. Yeah. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean, in order to save us, Greater Lord Rukadavata? Yeah. One thing I'm wondering though is that we saw that scene in the trailer a long time ago where the Torep like lit a tree on fire. The more I think, the more it's like a metaphor. It wasn't real. Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. Right. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. Uh huh. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermin's soul. World forget me? <laughs> oh, you okay? Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. Oh. There is madness. Chaos and pain all around us. Let's fix it. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions all the way up to her last breath? Hey, it seems like it, if this is the last bit of consciousness she had left. She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us there to you follow. Go. World, forget me. Yes. Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. Yeah? Oh. What's more? But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. Nice. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. Let's do it. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Rukadavata tell us the truth in person. In person? That's crazy. I hope we can use that truth to save everybody. Each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Uh-huh. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Sure. Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. All right. <sighs> That's so scary. Um, Don't been worry. Through? It should be easy enough for you to keep that mind <laughs> of yours clear, Paimon. <laughs> Let's go. Why are you so mean? I'm sorry, sir, but you're ineligible. What? There is a bunch of stuff here. In the a air. Boat? And why is there a huge boat? Interesting. That's the boat of consciousness. <laughs> Which okay. symbolizes reason here. Okay. Its course is the direction of Oh no. Wow. What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them. Yeah, they're mad as well. Man, I wanted to read more about the boats. Okay, there you go. Defeated some trolls. Now we're gonna defeat some wolves. Look! There we go. The four-leaf sigil has appeared in the sky! Yeah. It looks like we're working our way towards the boat. Le boat of consciousness. Con conscious. Conch conscious. I don't know how to pronounce it. And we're onto the boat. 
I'll be honest, as soon as I see a boat, I think of Beto, but I don't think Beto's gonna be related to this. Bus. No. Bus. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Oh, no way he has one health. Did he respawn? I think he did. There we go. How would you know this, Paimon? Here we go. Knock, knock. Start. Start, you say. What now? Uh, I'm going, I think. We changed direction. Are we still going the right way, Nahida? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. Okay. Where to? This looks like the final Aranada place. Kinda. No? I mean, we're going? This is so crazy. I'm still not sure. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? I'm, I'm confused, <laughs> but I don't think that's from going like mad. I think that's just so many things. Some strange thoughts came time from, from time to time, but I seem to be okay now. Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Head empty. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That's gonna be so crazy. I hope it's actually a person, like not not like Egg's sister. You know, that was just a little orb of light. I hope it's more. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. Hmm. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. He, I think you're a resurrection of her. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance. And I could have done a better job. World forget me. You were supposed to forget yourself to help the world as Tiny Bean again. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. And prove yourself to be a worthy Archon. I think that might be it. I can see that being it. We're going. Later. <laughs> I'm on a boat. <laughs> so, is this the place oh. you were talking about? Hello. The base we're back. of Ermansoul? The base of Hermansoul. Wow. It's been like three months? It's so cool though. Oh. Definitely did not think we'd experience all this. Well, this is the place. Here we are. <laughs> yep, the same place from my memories. I... We're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? Uh-huh. My guess is that she's right beside us. What? The one standing over there is... <laughs> it's Nahihi. Is that... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She looks exactly... like me. Mm-hmm. Are you... Greater Lord Ruka Devata? <laughs> Aww. Yes, that's me. No. Are you surprised by my appearance? She has such a pretty voice as well. I can't believe my eyes. The two of you look almost exactly the same. Ermin's soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. Uh-huh. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. <laughs> we're... of the same nature? Why? <laughs> you're... you're you! <laughs> because you are me, and I am you. Let's go! You are me in the new samsara. Look at it! I'm so happy. I'm tearing up again. Help. <laughs> the new samsara? Uh-huh. As Greater Lord Ruka Devata, I'm the avatar of Ermansoul. Uh-huh. And you are the purest branch snapped from Ermansoul. <laughs> Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow. Mm -hmm. Continuing the tree's life in another form. Sure. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. <laughs> we saw her in that cutscene though, she was also very pretty. Hmm. Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for 500 years. <laughs> what, a, what a casual way to say this. 500 years, huh? But you're finally here. My new self in the samsara. So this is the connection between you two. Lesser Lord Kusanali and Greater Lord Ruka Devata. If this is true, then am I <laughs> going to be a great Archon like you someday? You already are. Though we share the same nature, our fates are bound to be different. Oh. All things have their own fate. Wow. 
You might be a dog water archon. <laughs> when a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. Sure. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? <laughs> That's a great insight. Yes, very good. <laughs> it's also precisely why you won't become like me. Okay. <sighs> really? You might be better. But perhaps you may become an even greater Archon than I. <laughs> Massive Lord Nikusanali. <laughs> I already see a determination in you that I didn't possess in my time. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. <laughs> Along with the blessings from your past experiences. Right. Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. You only need to wait quietly for the flower to bloom. <laughs> How is she not saying anything about the fact that we're here? I have faith in Nahida too. She'll definitely become a great Archon. Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom! Yeah. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the Archon I always admired was in fact myself in another fate. In that sense, forgetting about yourself, you know, world forget me, allows the new iteration of yourself to be better than the previous one because you look up to your former self and want to be better than it. Huh? Uh? Or too far-fetched? It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Rukadabata. I've always wanted to meet you. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermin's soul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. <laughs> Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? And... What exactly happened when you died? Sumeru needed a new god. Ah, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? I mean, she's asking questions. That's the logical answer. Everything that day, even the sky itself, oh. changed into a color like this. Conria. Yeah, of course. I knew it. Oh, really, did you now? The mention of 500 years six times during the quest wasn't enough. At that time, the seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Okay. Except for me. Oh? I had a more important task to attend to. I feel like every Archon's like, we were all summoned, but we just couldn't show up. We were really busy, you see. More or less happened with Egg as well. I could see Vendi being careless, or maybe he's just careless now, I don't know. And Zhongli had something to do with his pet frog, right? So... I had to protect Ermin soul. Right. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. See? At that very moment... Everyone's always My consciousness busy. connected to Ermin soul. I sense something was wrong. I don't know who started this big thing, like the Connery War. I, I still, I don't remember right now. I'm kind of spaced out, or maybe we don't know. Either way, it seems like it was really orchestrated, and the person made sure that every Archon would have been busy with something in their nation, so that they couldn't show up at, I guess, the big battle? Maybe I'm crazy, but like, it feels like we're fixing the issues that would have stopped the people from fighting the big war right now so that they themselves can now make it to the war that's probably gonna, in my opinion, in this quote-unquote samsara, is going to happen again, but then they won't have their problem in their nation, because we'll have fixed them. That's how I see it. No, anyway, this is just quickly out of, out of my butt <laughs> as a theory, because I this is what I'm hearing right now, right? I don't know. I guess I'll leave this ramble in. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Ermensoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Right. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret thousands of years ago, uh -huh. I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So this 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 world is even even older than Conria and before all that. So what exactly is forbidden knowledge? Tell us. It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world. Okay. And a form of truth that can't be understood. Oh my god, guys. Forbidden knowledge Genshin Impact 2. I can't wait to understand Forbidden Knowledge and go through seven nations again in Genshin Impact 2. See you in 12 years. It came from the very bottom of the Abyss. Mm. Even I could never understand it. The Abyss. Well, they're here, <laughs> and our brother's with them. The world is constantly rejecting it, leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. This is so weird. I still need to- I want to understand how the Fatui, the Abyss, and the Archons, and us- how, how does this all tie together? If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute Ermensoul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tavat could fall apart. Right. So, there's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? It seems so. At that time, I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone. Okay. 
which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. I see. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. Well, can be used for bad as well as we've seen, so I don't know about that, but sure. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Mm -hmm. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's dreams using the Akasha. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. Right. Well, did it work? <laughs> Thanks to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Urban Soul. Oh, wow. But things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. Okay. I had a terrible headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. Guilt? And then I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Urban Soul. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, mm -hmm. but vile corruption as well. Of course. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Right. Oh no! How could that happen? Well, she's probably also a branch of the tree. So, when the tree was corrupted, her branch probably was made when it was corrupted already. And so Nahida might also have a little bit of corruption. I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes, but my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that... Herman soul was saved. Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me right. would continue to exist in Herman soul the as memories and knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden knowledge couldn't ever be permanently eradicated. World, forget me. And... There's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. Right. So, I took the purest <laughs> branch of Ermansoul as my incarnation <laughs> in the next samsara and left a trail of clues. Yeah. All in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermansoul forever. Oh. Wait. No, I can't. You have to. <laughs> you have to <laughs> need. <laughs> so you realize what that implies. Mm -hmm. You are very smart indeed. <laughs> it's Urban you. Urban soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Urban soul means I essentially will never have existed in this world. Yeah. But this is the only way to save Urban soul. Damn. <laughs> we figured someone was gonna die, but I didn't expect this. I'm also wondering, is Karmush is just laying there and knocked out in the middle of that battle arena, or what? People love you so much, and, and they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. I... I am exactly the same. So how... how can we just... forget you like this? This tree's kinda OP. Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You are the god of wisdom, Boor. <laughs> Boor. You should know that there is no other way. <laughs> but this... This is so cruel. I don't want to forget you. I don't think you will. Wait, will she as well? No need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. Is Rikudavata... Another one of those general names, or no, just Boor? These are the words in their entirety. The answer you've been seeking oh. all along. The world forget me sentence with fool? Th this? You mean just this is the conclusion? World forget me because she wants to be deleted from the world. Let the world completely forget me. Yeah. Yeah, of course. More? Oh we no. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom. Don't make me sob for this Peering third out time. to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become oh, a white so bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Aww. Oh, Once upon a finally. Time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Uh huh. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Aww. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the That's sky. Indeed. You can see the little leaf. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. She has it. 
The little leaf Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller Aww. worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. <laughs> I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things <laughs> are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Wow. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. I'm also sobbing. <laughs> no. Oh. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer. And I shall return all the dreams to the people. Oh. Is this our... Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest <laughs> dreams. I can't help it. I want to not cry, but I do it every time. <laughs> How are we not crying? I'm crying too. Ah, Nahida, you alright? I'm alright. I'm just a little confused. What are you confused about? I think it's because she should feel happy <laughs> because it's finally over, but she's sad. We've just saved the world, right? <laughs> See? Yeah. Why are you sad? So what? <laughs> Why am I crying? I don't know, man. It's rough. Emotions kind of wild. Don't tell me. I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from, but I feel very sad. Do you still remember what happened just now? Just now, we used the power of two gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin soul consciousness from 500 years ago. Yeah. If we're still aware, that definitely means that it didn't work. I don't know if that means that forbidden knowledge is still a thing. I mean, we it seems we cured Elzar from most people. And we removed the remaining pollution from Mermaid's soul. Oh, okay, she has forgotten her. Did I manage to remember because I'm not from this world? Oh no. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Uh, listen, I don't thought you weren't supposed to be from this world either, but this, here, this is what I was saying when Scaramouche was talking shit. He doesn't understand the power we have. Maybe we're the god of time. Paima doesn't seem to remember either. Has everybody really forgotten Greater Lord Riku Devata? Should I tell them the truth? Probably not. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a good idea. That's, that would ruin all the work. Buzzing. Uh-oh. What's this? What's that sound? I feel super sleepy. Nahi? Do you have it too? Don't tell me it's like the balladeer or something. I'm dead. Oh! That was the Tore. I'm pretty sure. How is this still not over? How do you keep bringing more? That sound. Traveler. Paimon. Nahi? Paimon is actually dead. She's not even moving a little bit anymore. <laughs> Look at her. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever seen Paimon touch the floor, and now she's just body. I've been waiting here far too long, but finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. You're saying this dude was like, he had this all planned? Nah, but that's, that's so stupid. The doctor, what have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. Okay. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. It's just ridiculous that he, like, planned all this. This guy must know way more about, like, the reiteration of this world and everything. He's probably, like, over 7 billion years old. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sages' research. I thought I'd take it for a little... spin. Okay. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. What? I think you have a lot more things that you're not going to be forgiven for. I'm here to negotiate with you. 
Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. What? You're making me so confused. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? That was fake. I left Sumeru, but I also oh, stayed in Sumeru. Oh, right. People said this. I think it's in the the anime, like the book, the manga. There's multiple versions of him, like he managed to clone himself or something, or like puppets. That's true. Even the god of wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... You started not knowing. There are many different versions of you in this world. That's right. An astute guess. Ah, pain, 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 pain. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. Okay. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Sure. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension. Uh -oh. That of time. Yeah, I mean, we, there's, we knew there was something up with time in this world, clearly. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent <laughs> individuals. <laughs> how, how long was the split between yours? That's all there is to it. Between yous. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? Uh, odd. It's an insult to the very concept of life. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. It can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves, not to mention oneself from a different period. Sure. Since you're in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. I don't know. If there's so many different versions, I can't help but Paimon's actually just inanimate on the floor. <laughs> if there's so many different versions of him, there's probably some that disagree with what the Fatui are doing. Is that right? Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? Oh, wow. So you have little care for Scaramouche at all. Every time, like, they're all mind-gaming each other. Scaramouche thought he was mind-gaming the doctor, and the doctor thought he was mind-gaming Scaramouche. It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? Is this what makes Scaramouche angry at the doctor and the Fatui? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal, yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. Yeah. You... you really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? He's probably still stronger. <laughs> it's weird, but he probably had a, an off switch somewhere. Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. Okay. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. <laughs> oh no. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. Clearly, you're absolutely insane. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. Don't give him the Gnosis. Clearly what he's after, right? For example... Yeah. The Gnosis. Get your filthy hands away from me. <laughs> Don't do it, Nihihi. -hi. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides... You have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Don't do it. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> it's all might our dead bodies behind. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. Okay, and I won't give it to you. I'm also stating a fact. Leave. After all, I'm also a scholar. 
Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Mm-hmm. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. Yeah. I understand your scheme, but... <laughs> but? What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? <laughs> awaken... the Heavenly Principles? <laughs> oh, did we just accidentally teach him something important? Hmm. Hmm. Do you think that's really possible? Oh, now we're having intellectual conversation. Great. The heavenly principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Mm -hmm. Will the destruction of the Gnosis attract the attention of oh. the heavenly principles? Wow. And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? <laughs> do you dare? To gamble such a possibility with me? Whoa, Nahida is so incredibly... I forgot the term. Like, oppressive. How do you how do you say this again? I forgot the term. Like, scary, though. <laughs> gamble? How surprising. Is it? No. I thought you would show evidence or use no. rigorous Fate, reasoning bro. to prove Fate your is point. knowledge. The word gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the god of wisdom. It's because you don't seem to understand the true principle of wisdom in this world. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. <laughs> Let's go, Nahihi. This kind of cool scene, too. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Uh huh. Indeed, I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? <laughs> This foreign gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. Oh, are you really gonna give it to him? But he just has to leave Sumeru? But this electronosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow harbingers. Oh, it's a competition. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, <laughs> shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Okay. Price? Interesting. <laughs> What price would you have me pay? <laughs> I love that this supposed smart old psycho is just arguing with the little baby that's been learning a bunch in the past few days. It's so cool. How about erasing all your other segments? Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me. The most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. Whoa. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Yes, indeed. You don't realize, but that tiny baby you knocked out may be the god of time, in my theory. <laughs> Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. Uh -huh. They require extremely rare resources and uh -huh. enormous amounts of time and yeah. effort. Requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision on your part. So is this the real Dottore then? Like, is this the modern now? Or is this a, is this a sequence? Yes. How very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? <laughs> Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. Okay, so it's not. Or is it? If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. <laughs> but he knows it. He's also the most self-aware segment. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me. And that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. <laughs> really? Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. That is so cool. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Clearly not. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. But you also can't make new ones. <laughs> He's actually opening his hand for it. Nah, but... You know, for a while I thought maybe this was like a cryognosis or a hydronosis, or maybe this is the material he needs to make more sequences of himself. You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? <laughs> I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. <laughs> the surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a Gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? I don't think a Gnosis should have a price ever. I think it's literally invaluable. How do you say this? Like, nothing can buy one. I'm really intrigued now. I hope she just breaks it. 
Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. See, so he's gonna make new ones. Perhaps it's best to say, you're just temporarily ahead. It's just a race, these two. They don't even care about anything, they just want to be the smartest. But what I'd like to know is... How can you be sure that I've really erased them? I am the god of wisdom. I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> wow. Nahihi? Really? <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy about it. Really, Nahi? You're just actually gonna give what it? What a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short sighted? You think that this is your the end? Is this I'll other Dottores? You will make this moment count. You. you will regret this! I think that's the other Dottores to this Dottore, isn't it? Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? I think it is. Here, take it. Wow. I mean, man of his word, despite being a complete freakazoid. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. Good job, Nahida. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. I hope so. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have <laughs> never been appreciated in my home. <laughs> of course... I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Maybe you should start considering that you are the one making the mistakes, and that's why the city rejects you every time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? What do you mean? You've been using it to power this Akasha and all that. Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snesh Knight. <laughs> Let's go, Nahihi. I actually, I get the deal. I think she, she definitely has an idea, right? This, this isn't just based on nothing. No, this is a different transaction. <laughs> if you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, he knows where it is no too. no further use for the Gnosis I feel like you didn't know. Is there. Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Who's the Seeker? Are you, oh... Judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Uh? Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? <sighs> what kind? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, <laughs> it has piqued my interest. <laughs> Let me ask you, have you in all your mighty knowledge ever heard the rumor that the skies of oh. Tevat are fake? Oh my god. <laughs> the Fatutu are fighting the are fighting Celestia, right? That's what he's hinting at. Huh? Oh lordy. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world is it now holy <laughs> no way so many things keep being hinted at once i finish telling you about so this, many theories it will be time for me to say goodbye okay but with a gnosis i assume with negotiations we've all gotten what we wanted i'm very glad i got to meet you like this <laughs> i hate it i hate it so much your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. But, the Gnosis, so you're actually, you're giving it? She's giving it. Secrets and dark truths flow to the mind of the wise, then everything falls silent. Several days later, we're not even gonna hear it? We're not even gonna hear it? What do you mean? Nah, but I feel so scammed. And the Gnosis then? Did she actually give it? Together! Okay. Wake her up. Hello? Oh, no way, not here again. Are no. you awake? Holly says it's time for breakfast. Oh. Okay, on, fine. It's not a reset. Good morning, Paimon. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? <laughs> That's right. On that day, we lost consciousness in battle. And when we woke up, we found ourselves in Gandharvaville and Tainari and Kole were looking after us. I heard that it was Sino who brought us here. Tainari can play that Sino was always sending people to him, but he has taken great care of us. After completely exhausting ourselves, we had a good rest here. 
After a few days, we finally recovered enough to be able to go back out. From what Tainari and Kole have said, the Akash has been turned off completely, and the people of Sumeru will no longer rely on it. Such a big change will certainly affect people's lives, but it will definitely be a good thing. Come on, Traveler! Let's go! Bro, and Nahida? What has she done? Has she said anything? There has to be more, right? A toast to victory. I guess this is the tiny ending part. We got, I think, the last bit of Lumine constellations as well. In the rain? Good morning. Hey. It looks like you're awake. Yeah. And there's a dog. Yep, yep. Hi. Good morning, Kole. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. Some moldy, I hope you like it. moldy bread with peas in the middle. <laughs> I was going to say feeds it to the dog while Kole's not looking, but Lumine's got her tongue out. Or I guess we have our tongue out. You here so we can eat something yummy. Or is this supposed to be the pita bread? Well, now that I've recovered from Elazar, yeah. I'm feeling better than ever. That's so good. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. I'm so happy for you. And Pima bits, they're all delicious. <laughs> you enjoy a yummy breakfast with Kole who's been waiting for you. Oh, by the way, someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. Uh, must have been oh. the he. Paimon hasn't already read it? Nope. Paimon wanted to read the letter with you after you woke up, oh. so Paimon didn't open it. All right, let's read it now. Wow, Paimon. Oh, I'm it's surprised. from Nilu. Oh, from Nilu. Okay. Ahem. We're going to hold a feast oh. at the Grand Bazaar and celebrate Sino's oh. reinstatement as the General Mahamatra. That's great. As heroes of Sumeru, please be sure to attend. I'll wait for you. Okay. Hmm. The oh. date of the banquet is written <laughs> on the back. It's in two days. Here we go again, a two-day minigame wedding. Oh. I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. Yeah. That's amazing. It's really not that amazing. We're just doing our part. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. You're great too, Kole. Oh, <laughs> you're embarrassing me. You fought through Elazar. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look. All right. Oh, it's in two days, though. Leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. Of course. We'll say goodbye to our buddy. Everything has been getting better lately. Good. And my mood has been improving as well. Very good. Take care, Kole. Wow, that was a long quest. Tainari! Hi, Tainari. How's it going? Thank you for taking care of us as well. Good morning. How, How do you feel today? Doing better. A little bit wet, I'll be honest. Maybe the rain wasn't the best time to come up. We feel much better. How about you? Yeah, how's your wound? I'm recovering well. Thanks for asking. No worries. But from the looks of it, you seem to be already busy with work again. Yeah, you even had curing us on your hands. It's fine. I'm not that busy, really. Mm. The Elazar patients have recovered, True. as well as Hapasia. Oh, that's For great. Now, I only need to tend to my forest watcher duties. Okay. You think Hapasia's going to be big in the story in the future? Now we're going to talk to her now? It seems once Ermin's soul started getting better, everything else started to recover, too. Yeah. Yes, but there are still some residual effects. Yeah, there's still some... Withering zones that I haven't cleared yet. <laughs> the withering is one example. Yep. <laughs> Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. I appreciate that's a lot to ask. What? By the way, we have some good news. Sino got his position back. Yeah. <laughs> this news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Man, they're besties. Huh? You mean he was already here? Because we're not besties, pensive. He visited once, but he was afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. He just asked me a few questions and left. Okay. And you probably already know all about the celebration feast. The celebration feast? Celebration feast? Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't heard anything about that. <laughs> huh? Uh. But didn't Nilo say in her letter that they would celebrate Sino? He didn't tell you? He'd find it embarrassing. Hmm. Perhaps, or... Alternatively, he doesn't know about it either. <laughs> that would work. I'm excited now that the story's done. We're probably going to get interactions between Sumeru characters and characters from other regions. And I'm really excited to see. I want to see, like, Tignuddy and Kali for some reason. Uh, come to think of it, Sino doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. Well, I guess Neil was only planning on telling him once festivities are underway. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Yeah. Kala has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me. <laughs> you see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Mm-hmm. Huh? Patutus. VIPs? 
Very important Paimon? Yeah, that's what it is. Well, technically speaking, they are former VIPs. The sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya forest. Really? And the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Okay. Is your master all right? Yes. He's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Okay. Lesser Lord Kusanali in her boundless mercy has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Okay. Supposedly they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya forest. <laughs> sure. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Ermin's soul, uh -huh. they were shocked at first, but also became happy feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. <sighs> so cheap. As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. Of course. That sounds really exhausting. Yeah. There's nothing we can do, really. <laughs> but that's another topic. Sure. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Yeah, just wanted to thank you. Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. <laughs> Would that be okay? Please, Dad. You've recovered well. <laughs> you may go, but be careful. Okay, Candace. Yay! Will do! You think there's any interaction with Candace at all anymore? Is there anything else you'd like to ask about? How's Hypatia? Ah, yes. Thanks for remembering her. She continued her training in the forest after she recovered. Really? As a scholar, she never slacks off. Okay, that's great. A lot has happened lately. Kale and I have been busy. But don't worry, we'll take care of ourselves. You better. As for Sino's reinstatement, the more I think about it, the more I suspect that he just doesn't have a single clue about this feast. It's most certainly a surprise. But this does remind surprise. me that Kale and I should find an opportunity to celebrate him as yeah. well. He has helped me a lot during this time. Sure. And you as well. Thank you. They'll mention it. Take care. Please, find me if you need anything. Of course. Cute. Wow, guys. Holy moly, what a quest. I think this might be the most, uh, you know, the most cubic amount of water that I've let leak out of my eyes during a Genshin Impact Archon quest. That's crazy though. It... I wish... I don't know, I don't really feel any relief towards the sages and what they've done. But I guess that's okay. Well, there won't be any problems oh, Zubair, if the feast starts at that time. Everything has already been prepared. Cool. Uh, Mr. Zubair, I finished telling things up here. Well, except for the guests. <laughs> Is a simple reply really that much to ask of our guests? It's affecting our arrangements. <laughs> Calm down, Zubair. It's fine. You can do this all the time now. It's nothing special anymore. Oh, it'll be fine. Besides, it never hurts to get things ready in advance. Real. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. The feast will be held sooner or later, right? Yeah. Hey, Nilu. Hello. How's everybody doing? Traveler, Paimon. Hey. I got your letter. Yep. Ready to party. You're the best. The other guests haven't even replied yet. <laughs> huh? Are we the only ones that have arrived? <laughs> Don't make me do chores. Yeah. I had someone deliver letters to all of our guests. But maybe everyone is still busy with other things. Don't know. Look, I get it. Sumeru is in an extremely important period of transition right now, <laughs> but even if your friends are important figures, they shouldn't just ignore your request like this. <laughs> Nilu is Sumeru's number one celebrity after all. Of course, of course, my apologies. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to talk to people with good taste. <laughs> I like his enthusiasm, although he's very one-dimensional. If you consider enjoying Nilu's dances having good taste, then almost everybody has good taste. Fair enough. That's right. We all think she's amazing too. Nice. Nilu is an absolute favorite among those of us who frequent the Grand Bazaar. For Outlanders, you have a great eye. Mm, you know more than anyone. Master Zubair, let's have a vote for the most outstanding audience members next time. <laughs> I think these two <laughs> may win. <laughs> Nonsense! It is not for us to determine the value of an audience, but indeed we could try giving <laughs> gifts to people with particularly good taste. Uh -huh. I heard there's a device in Fontaine called a camera uh -huh. that can record people's appearances as pictures. Yep. Such pictures would make superb gifts. Ah, mais oui, bien sûr. Ooh, good idea. I wonder where we can find one. I have one, actually, guys. I can give it to you. <sighs> I don't want you giving pictures of me to everyone. <laughs> I'm satisfied just being able to perform here. Oh. There's a 
always a lot going on at the Grand Bazaar. Yeah? Yeah. And that's why I love it here. Oh, I couldn't have that. Give me quiet. Traveler and Paimon, could you help confirm if the letters were actually delivered? Oh, sure. If for some reason they didn't receive the letters, then please tell everyone that there will be a feast here. We'll go around and check. Yeah! We can also check out how everything in Sumeru is going now. Do you know where everybody is? Hmm. When I wrote the letters, I heard that Dia was in Port Ormos. And I'll hate them was at the Academia. Alright. As for Sino, we've only heard that he appears at the Academia from time to time. I'm not too sure about Rahman's whereabouts. My guess is that he's with Dia. Of course. As for Dunyazad, I just hope she's feeling better. Dunny. I sent Let's her a letter, go. but I was afraid of disturbing her. If you have time, please ask about her for me. Of course. Okay, got it. Let's go, traveler. Let's do it. This makes sense. I do want to know how everyone's doing. I'll go to the Adventurer's Guild later and ask Miss Catherine if she knows how to get one of those cameras. Yes, please do. I'm sure the audience would be thrilled at the chance of receiving commemorative gifts. It's true, people collect this. It could be our special surprise that we prepare for everyone. Uh-huh. I think it's an amazing idea. And now she wants Who it, okay. Knows? If we take more pictures... They might even become the signature souvenir of the Grand Bazaar. Of course. And Nilu will become even more famous. <laughs> huh? Huh? It won't be long till people are fighting for front row at your performances. Wow. I've heard that this camera is not just something anyone can use as they please. It must be aimed properly and subjects should pose <laughs> for the best results. For real. Oh, should we get ready then? Perhaps we should wear something a little more appropriate. I'm really no, not either. No, I think we look absolutely fine. If anything, when we pose for this, um, clever invention, we should just be ourselves. Hmm? Good. You really think so? I like that. I like that angle. Be yourself. All right, anyway. I'll hate them. Hey, I'll hate them? <laughs> we haven't seen all hate them anywhere. Uh, let's ask that person over there. You think it's that dummy that thought he was right, and then we just overthrew the academia? <clears throat> hey there, have you seen all hate them around? Yes, it seems hey, Scribe Al Haytham has gone to the house of Dana. Okay. You should be able to find him there. That's pretty easy to find. But you're already the second group of people I've seen looking for him today. Mm. He must be quite the busy man. Yeah, come on, two people? Oh? Who else was looking for him? Sino. Mr. Cave was just here asking about him. Who's that again? You wouldn't believe how terrible their relationship is. <laughs> and now you two are here. <laughs> Don't tell me everyone's here looking for gossip about the sages. Not at all. No way. Strictly here on business. <laughs> ah, I see. Sorry, I thought maybe everyone's <laughs> as interested in rumors about the sages as I am. You're awful. Bye. House of Dia entering the House of Dana. I'll hate them. I'll hate them. Who is that? Whoa. They look cool. Who is this? All hate them should be around here somewhere, right? Yeah. Who is that? Looks like a future playable character. Because it's very detailed. Oh, he's over there! But it looks like he might not have time for us. Is this the Kave person? Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the Academia. <laughs> oh my god, it's the Kaya Diluc. I feel like it's the Kaya Diluc of Sumeru. This is not just some worthless book. <laughs> Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a physical book like this in Sumeru? <laughs> and he doesn't have his Akasha on anymore, that's so good. It doesn't matter, it's probably just another thing that you used your authority to get uh, your hands on anyway. He's the... Just put it aside. Listen, I came back today only to hear that the sages have disappeared. He's good looking. Oh, you sound surprised. <laughs> I thought you would already know the inside story. Uh-huh. Would I be here asking you if I knew? You're the scribe, not me. So just tell me what you know already. <laughs> I kinda like him. Well, I almost became a sage. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Kave. It is Kave. Light of the Kasharawar. Besides, as a master builder and craftsman, chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Okay, he's also Dendro. And look at that. Apparently, he's a master crafter, so you know what? Teapot stuff, he's got you covered. <laughs> I swear we've heard Kaveh before. Hmm. 
Why do I feel like you don't really mean it? That's your that's your guys' relationship, what you mean? Huh. What makes you say that? Why would you question my heartfelt sincerity? <laughs> Maybe it's because you've never said anything good about me before. <laughs> Oh, this dynamic is so good. Well, I share a similar sentiment, and anyone who knows you as well as I do would surely do the same. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> see, this is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. Ha! <laughs> what was your first clue? Nah, but they gotta be lovers. Well, then you might as well move out of my house. He's the roommate. Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, <laughs> see? What the uh, hell? And don't change the subject. You, a sage? What a joke. The academia might as well just close tomorrow. Well, actually, the Akasha terminal we have, yeah, turn it off. No point anymore. Are they having a fight? I don't really know. I think they like each other. Let's see how this plays out. We're not in a rush anyway. <sighs> Forget what's going on with the academia. Haven't you been busy with your construction project? Tell me, when are you going to build yourself a mansion? <laughs> Don't get me started. I get angry just thinking about it. <laughs> so, what great building did our master architect work on this time? <laughs> like I need to tell you. Keep your nose out of my business. No, I think we deserve to know. Where were you when Sumeru needed you most? Ooh, I think the Kaya dealer comparison wasn't that bad at all, after all. I was in the desert for a large project, but considering Haravatat's utter ignorance of architectural and aesthetic matters, you probably wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, which is truly unfortunate. I can only pity the man who doesn't understand the first thing about beauty and romance. <laughs> Unlike a true... Oh. Hold on, uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me most? <laughs> this guy, this guy's could, I think he could be a bard, honestly. Also, I hate them looks like he'd be Anima, and this dude looks like he'd be Pyro. Well, while you were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. <laughs> ha! And you think I'd believe that? Yeah, well you should. Look, all you really need to know is that Azar and all his accomplices have all been overthrown. <laughs> That's what he wanted to hear from the start. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? How poorly informed is this guy? <laughs> it's no skin off my nose if you don't believe me. It's not like my Darshan was the one trying to apply for funding from the Grand Sage. Hmm. Yours, though, on the other hand. <laughs> you know what? I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. <laughs> ask me. Hey, you there. <laughs> oh, no, come back. Come on. I wanted to talk to him. What was that all about? I'll hate them. It was just a new character introduced like that out of nowhere. Hey, I'll hate them. Hello. Oh, it's you two. What's the matter? You're invited to a party. We're running some errands for Nilu. Have you received your letter? Letter? Okay. Nilu said she sent out a letter inviting everyone to a celebration feast in two days at the Grand Bazaar. Uh huh. We'll also be celebrating Zaino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Yeah, what she said. If she addressed the letter to all Haytham of the Academia, then the letter should have gone to my office. Probably not of the Academia. I've been busy these days, so I haven't had time to check for any new mail at chop, my chop. office. I only now have some free time to attend to personal matters. Well, let's go then. Have you always been so busy with your work? Of course not. I'm only busy these days because several sages have been dismissed recently right. and the whole academia was practically turned upside down. Fair enough. Kainari told us they all went to train in the Avidia Forest. Apparently they will spend the rest of their lives there. Right. That is already the best possible ending for the likes of them. True. Four of the six great sages were possessed by their desire for power and attempted to create a new god. Yeah. In order to pull it off, they even imprisoned the other two rational sages. Yeah. To imagine such things could take place in the academia. Hmm. I don't know where to begin. The six great sages. Sounds pretty powerful. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Feels kind of strange to hear them called that after all this time. Yeah. But then again, the six great schools sounded pretty impressive too. Did it? Yes. At least, that's how they're supposed to sound. Sounds kind of laughable now. It's said that when the academia was first founded, 
The Dendro Archon herself established the six great schools, okay. each representing one of the six different types of wisdom. Okay, hit me. Numerous Darshans have sprung up and faded. Yeah. Only the six Darshans attaching themselves to the six great schools have stood the test of time mm -hmm. and obtained permanent seats in the academia. I see. Now, the six Darshans are nearly synonymous with the six great schools, mm -hmm. and the leaders selected for the schools are the six great sages. Right. Among the six great sages, there is one central leader, the Grand Sage. Yes. Unfortunately, only the sages from Vahumana and Amorta remain now. They were imprisoned for oh. opposing Azar and were only Good. rescued after Azar's downfall. My kings. So who's managing things in the other four schools now? He is. Do they need to find someone new? Yes. Yes. Normally, new sages are selected based on a strict set of criteria. Okay. Oh, didn't you just say something about becoming a sage? If they pick you, then we'd have a huge connection in Sumeru. He was definitely teasing. Yes, about that. <laughs> <clears throat> you didn't let me finish my sentence. It was definitely teasing, Kavit. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the Grand Sage in place of Azar and help Lesser really? Lord Kusanali manage For the real? academia. Wow. But I refused. Okay. What, rotting away in an office all day isn't his thing. He wants to explore and discover and knowledge. I'm not even interested in being one of the six great sages. Like I said before, I don't like being a leader. Yeah. Oh, all right. So are you busy these days trying to find others to take the job? Guess so. That's not my job oh, either. never mind. I'm only responsible for handling important affairs within the academia before the new sages take office. I see. So you're still a leader now. Even if it's just temporary. <laughs> and the first thing I'll do is reject Kasharawar's application for funding. <laughs> okay. By the way, who was that other person just now? Is he your friend? The Rumi. Do we look like friends? Yes. Paimon doesn't know. That's why Paimon's asking. <laughs> His name is Kave. My roommate. You could say he's the representative for Kasharawar scholars. He didn't seem to believe a word you told him. Which is exactly why he always has so many problems. <laughs> so everything that's happened recently must be a huge change for the people of Sumeru. Thanks for your hard work these days. Such is the work of the Academia Scribe. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, no matter how busy you are, since you are our planner, remember to attend the celebration feast in two days. Yes, sir. All right. I'll see you there. Awesome. Whew. That was lengthy, bro. I, I thought it was almost over. The House of Dana is the last quiet place in the whole academia now. Uh-huh. I was originally planning to stay here a little longer. And then I interrupted you. But there's a chance that Kaveh might show up again. <laughs> Tuh, what a nuisance. I'd better go somewhere else. Go to the Grand Sage's office. You're the temporary Grand Sage, essentially. I'd do it. Go to Port Ormos. I'll teleport. It was only one quest, but it clearly had the girth of two. At least two. So many things just happened. So many things need to give a place. When I'm going to be editing this, I'm sure I'll realize a bunch of things as well. It's going to be really cool. Dia. Dia? This is poor Ormos. Hmm. Now we're picking... Oh, Dunyazard. Is that Paimon I hear? Hey. I butchered your name. Dunyazad, right? Dunyazad. I think that's right. Huh? Hey. Oh, it's been a while. Hey. How are you doing? Hey, it looks like your arms are fully healed. We're great. How about you? I'm doing well. I can go as far as saying I have <laughs> never been happier in my entire life. That's so good. I don't know if you've heard, but Elazar has completely disappeared. Uh -huh. And all the patients have recovered. May have had a part to play in that. <laughs> you kidding? Hey. Knowing them and the connections they've got, I'm sure they've heard about it. <laughs> Dia. Dia! Didn't expect to see you here. Well, we did. We came looking for her here. That's right. My lady is feeling better now, so I'm accompanying her for a walk. Nice. Why do you still call me that, Dia? You've already informed my father of your resignation. You're still my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just used to calling you my lady. Old habits die hard. Mm -hmm. Resignation? You mean you're quitting? I mean, as bodyguard. Yeah, I might start losing my edge if I keep being a bodyguard for the Homayanis. Fair enough. You know that my parents and I are fond of you, and that we appreciate you very much. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be a problem if you wish to continue to be our bodyguard. Yeah, but she's looking to be a fighter. 
And she doesn't do a lot of fighting when she's pretty cute. <laughs> I'm not a woman that's easily persuaded. You should know that by now, my lady. <laughs> when I took this job, I had already decided that I'd quit as soon as you'd recovered. It's time for me to get back out there and chase that horizon. Yep, there you go. So what are you going to do now if you're not going to be a bodyguard anymore? She's going to join the crux. <laughs> I want to take a risky job and put my body to the test again. Let's cut off another arm, eh? Huh? Like, we literally just finished one of the most dangerous jobs ever. Are you getting bored already? There wasn't a lot of direct fighting. I know. If I hadn't joined in that plan with you, <laughs> I wouldn't have come up with this idea. <laughs> okay. I guess I still get fired up by that feeling of going all out in a fight. <laughs> it made me realize that I'm still a mercenary through and through. Sure. Life is short, and I'm happy that I got to be a part of that operation. Yeah. But the whole thing also made me realize that there are still many problems in Sumeru. And as a desert dweller, I'm still not completely ready to settle down on this side of the wall. Sure. Well, I remember a friend had someone bring you a message. I do too. You mean I'll hate them? <laughs> I didn't expect him to still remember that. I thought he was joking. We just came from about? talking with I'll hate them at the academia. Did he tell you that he suggested that I come work at the academia? No. What? Absolutely not. I heard that Azar and his cronies Banger got playing? some power. And I'll hate them told me that now was a good time to find a job in the academia. But only if I wanted to. And you clearly didn't want to. Whoa. Hyman can't see you being <laughs> anything other than a mercenary. We're kind of laughing at her. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, but I think Dia would look great dressed up as a scholar. I don't know. I kind of like her current outfit. Ugh. Ugh. Forget about it. <laughs> I wouldn't last 10 seconds in there. Yeah, I figured. I'll hate them probably just like the way I worked and knew I'm good in a fight. So he suggested I find some work in the academia. Sure. But you know... If you take him up on the offer, Sino might actually agree and let you become a Matra. Mm. Because you're super amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the Matra have all the talent they need as long as they have Sino. I prefer to be free to live however I choose. She's actually going to be a pirate. She has that mindset for sure. In fact, I chose this job from the very start because I knew it'd be right up my alley. Right. Even if being a mercenary means facing all kinds of danger. Uh-huh. A lion has to return to the wild sooner or later. If anything, being your bodyguard has been unfamiliar territory for me. Right. I don't want to see you go, but I'll respect your decision. I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> Come on, no need for the sad face. <laughs> it's not like we'll never meet again. No, I guess being free is just a part of how Dia operates. Once the whole Dendro Archon thing is settled, everything in Sumeru will take a turn for the better. Yeah. That makes me happy too. Of course. But a peaceful society will probably mean less demand for mercenaries like me. Before long, we'll be a dying breed. So I'd better get to work while I still can. Sure. Huh? But wait a second. <laughs> you make it sound like you're leaving now. I think she is. Maybe she'll wait two days if we tell her. Well, no. Not yet, at least. Oh, there we go. I promised my lady I'd stick around until next week. That's something. So, have you been poor Ormos this entire time? We were wondering if you had received a letter from Nilu. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, did Nilu write to us? Yes. She heard that you were seen in poor Ormos, so she sent the letter here. <laughs> How are people even supposed to deliver it? Huh. It was probably sent to the inn that we're staying at. That makes sense. My lady has been very energetic lately, and keeps taking me on hikes, staying out even into the night. By the time we get back, the receptionist is usually off napping on the job. <laughs> right, and we tend to leave quite early in the morning, so the old man on duty is also usually dozing off. Of course. So what it really sounds like is that the person on duty is <laughs> always asleep. Mm -hmm. I bet the letter's at the reception desk. I'll go check later. Okay. No wonder there wasn't a reply. You never received the letter. Good thing Nilu asked us to come and check on that. Sure. Uh, sorry to make you two come all the way out here. It's okay, we're, we're used to running errands. It must be something important for Nilu to specifically write to us like that. I guess. She said they were preparing a victory feast in the Grand Bazaar, and we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Uh -huh. She was hoping you could come. Great, I'll be sure to attend. That's amazing. Count me in too. Good. But is there some sort of dress code or anything for the feast? Yes. Can I just show up looking like this? You have to be dressed as a scholar. Since it's being organized by Nilu, I don't think she'll be too picky <laughs> about that. If anything, I think she wants to see us as our most natural selves. It's true. All right, then this is how I'll show up. Great. 
The feast will be held in two days, so don't forget. Don't forget. Sure. Thank you so much for letting us know. We'll see you there. Take care. Oh, oh. by the way. Or don't. Do you happen to know where Sino and Raman are? The General Mahamatra always comes and goes without a trace. Normally, no one knows his whereabouts. Hmm. Oh. He's finding us. But last time we met, he mentioned that he had something to do in Aru Village. Of course. You can try your luck there. Let's say by the Candace as well. Your guess is as good as mine. I only remember he said that he had something to discuss oh, with perfect. Sino. Oh, perfect. You can ask Sino when you meet him. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. You'd better get going. You're right. All right, on to our next stop. Bye bye. Okay, next up. Well, actually, first. Gross. What's After up? recovering from Elazar, everything seems so different to me. When I look at the scenery I visited before, it has a completely different feeling. Hmm. Yeah. You need to be stronger than an ox to take life by the horns. Uh huh. I think I've heard you say something like that before. But today. I finally understand what you mean. <laughs> Is there any place you'd like to go? Oh, what if I tell you that I, I want to go to the desert? <laughs> Come with me. I'm going there right now. She's shaking at the idea of it. Fine by me. Oh, wow. If we go to the desert, I can introduce you to my friends there. But we should prepare and get everything we need before setting off. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'll go pack my luggage now. Wow. After we're done with the feast in two days, we can go have fun in the desert. <laughs> you can count me in. <laughs> wow, okay, that was a quick decision. All right, perchance our last three besties would be right here. Candace, Sino, and Raman. <laughs> and that would be it. That would be it. What a quest line we've gone through. Hey there, Sino of the jungle. It's been a while since we last visited Aru village. Not really. Ah, there's Sino. Hey, champ. How's it going? What you up to? Hmm. Hey, it's been a while. Not really, still. What brings you here? You're invited. We recovered well, and Tanari agreed to let us leave. So now we're out and about again. It seems Kendarvaville's medical treatment is still as good as ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Tanari is recovering well, too. Yep. That's good to hear. Mm-hmm. Thank you for taking us to him. Yeah. You're the one who brought us to him when we lost consciousness, right? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Tainari has excellent medical skills, and Kale is quite attentive. It's true. It was the best place for you. You're right. But why are you just standing here like a dead tree? <laughs> I'm meeting some people. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, you mean Candace? I've already talked with Candace and the village chief. They're still at the usual place. You can go there if you'd like to see them. For sure. But you know one of the people I'm meeting as well. Ramon. Oh, by King Jeshret's uh -huh. blessing. My friend suddenly appears in the desert. Oh, no <laughs> Don't way. Don't tell me you've run into trouble in the Are you her dad? No way you're her dad, bro. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I kept being interested, and then I saw her once in that screenshot, and I forgot. Roman! And, huh? Sataria? Oh, my God. Oh, you know me? What do you mean? Oh, well, Oh. Uh... Right. You're pretty famous in the academia. Yeah, we totally didn't talk to you as Catherine. Don't worry. These are our friends. No need to be so guarded. I see. <laughs> How have you been doing lately? I'm doing well. Many good things have happened recently. Definitely. Same here. Really, I feel that my whole life has started to shine after suddenly finding a new direction. It's good. Oh, tell us everything. Yeah, you go ahead. All right. Well, I suppose I should start by saying I've decided to leave the academia. Nice. What? You're not going to be a scholar anymore? It's not that I've given up on being a scholar. Instead, you could say I've found a new identity. Really? I will no longer pursue research like a typical scholar, but I have not completely given up on my relationship to knowledge either. Okay. <laughs> a researcher. I can see what you're saying. Now. What do you call it, like an, uh, an archaeologist? Uh what do you mean? Archaeologist. I plan to leave the academia and return oh. to teach here in the desert. Wow, okay. Wow, so you want to become a teacher? <laughs> that is what she has just said. Sataria will return to support education here and teach people from the desert. Great. She can't teach everyone on her own, but there are many of us Eremites all over Sumeru. Mm -hmm. She came to discuss a collaboration with me and hoped that I could bring her ideas to the Eremites. Okay. Yes. It's my hope that the Eremites can help me select a group of smart people with the best aptitude for teaching. I'll teach them, and after they've finished learning from me, 
They can go educate more people. That's great. That is the true meaning of education and the spreading of knowledge. <laughs> okay, dude. The people of King Jeshret suffer from sandstorms, exile, and ignorance. Uh huh. Miss Ataria is more than welcome to come teach here. Sure. Her arrival is like a star shining in the desert night. Just like her family name says. I'm starting to feel a little embarrassed. You're helping the people from the desert. The desert people are happy. You deserve these compliments. Yeah. Mercenaries are accustomed to danger and don't fear death. Which is why we recognize extraordinary actions the common people would easily overlook. Sure. Setaria's idea will bring much good to many people. Of course. At first, I feared it was destined to fail. Everyone knows that the Academia doesn't allow scholars to teach in the desert without permission. Mm -hmm. As you know, all knowledge is under their surveillance and control. And very few desert dwellers are as lucky as me. Right. But what I heard at that time has been haunting my heart. As if there were lightning bolts constantly bombarding my soul. No, Skarmush. Speaking of Skarmush, <laughs> he's still just laying there. What happened? Sataria, you tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become. That's how it started. Sataria, why <laughs> haven't you gone home? <laughs> Never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. Uh-huh. Miss. These words sparked something in me, and I knew that I had to bring something back to my people after going home. Sorry for influencing you like that. I gathered up the courage to approach the Grand Sage, only to find that he was no longer at the Academia. Yep. Lord Sino told me that Azar didn't belong there anymore. Uh-huh. Azar has received much needed punishment. Though, if you ask me, it may have been too light. You probably have already heard. Yeah, we heard. Lord Sino helped me obtain permission to leave the Academia for the desert, and accompanied me here to discuss collaboration with members of the Eremites. Cool. My plan was able to go smoothly thanks to him and Ramon. Great. You're all doing so much for the desert. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, I also have some other business to discuss with Sino. Okay. Lester Lord Kusanali has allocated many resources to support and develop the desert. Cute. I've done some business for her, and part of it required the assistance of the Eremites. Yeah. I applied for a few batches of educational materials from the Academia, and sent them to several groups in the desert, Very nice. as instructed by Lesser Lord Kusanali. I believe the people will make good use of them. I hope so. That's exactly what the people here need. Physical books and other related items. If it weren't for Sino and Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'm afraid we'd never be able to get our hands on them. Right. Apart from this, the Academia is also recruiting scholars that are willing to teach in the desert. Of course. I'll let you and Satarian know as soon as I have any more news. That's cool, though. We must be persistent about this, and maintain these resources to ensure long-term effectiveness. Yeah. This is the first time in hundreds of years we've had a glimmer of hope. I think this may be the turning point for the desert. Are you older than a hundred years old? Remember these words. Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. Yeah. His wisdom is a miracle among the people. Uh-huh. Deserving of high praise and admiration. Yeah. I hope people with wisdom like that priest will rise again among the desert dwellers. Of course they Then will. we'll once again see the wisdom and glory that once shook the world. Nice. Enough about us. Are you here to discuss some business, too? No. No, not at all. We're actually here on behalf of Nilu. Yeah. Nilu wanted to write to everyone, but she wasn't sure where the letters should be sent, so she asked us to come find everyone personally. Mm -hmm. A celebration feast will be held in two days at the Grand Bazaar. She hopes that all of you will be able to attend. Yeah. At the feast, we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Uh, although... Judging from your appearance, <laughs> it seems you've already been reinstated. Paimon thought you would only start working for the Academia after the feast. No time to waste. Celebration? Feast? Oh, so you read it in, though? It's the first I've heard of it. Well, I just spoiled the surprise. Tainari was right. She really didn't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> this feast is for you, Sino. Sounds to me like you'll have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy it's about it. It's rare to see that kind of expression from Lord Sino. <laughs> you must not like feasts very much. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but I'll go. He's so... No. 
I hate it. You two are invited as well. Well, I still have a lot to nah, handle No, 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 no. Besides, I no, need to look no, no, Miss Ataria no, in the desert, so I'll have to pass. Uh, Miss Ataria is coming too, so you're coming too. I'm afraid I won't be able Come to join. Come on. You. Although, Come if on. you'd be so kind, please give a message to Miss Nilu for me. No. The message is. No. I'm sorry for how I treated you before, but now I understand the beauty of your dance. It's like a light shining in the sky. You go tell her. You and the art you no, symbolize are not only care. beautiful, but also lively and powerful. So much so that it was prohibited. Please keep dancing. And someday, I'll be able to appreciate your art in person. Just come to the festival, bro. Okay, we've got all that down. We'll be sure to give the message to Nilu. Our job here is complete as well. Oh, Sino, remember, party's in two days. Make sure you're there. <laughs> got it. <laughs> I'm going to see Candace. I don't uh, care. Anyway, our preparation has been going smoothly these days. Good. Can such good things really be happening in the desert? Of course. <laughs> it's almost hard to believe. We can do it all. Yes. Even if you can't bring yourself to believe it, you should at least believe in those of us who are working hard to make it a reality. <sighs> Indeed. Take it one step at a time. There is still a long journey before you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What heartwarming words. This is real. Staying real, man. Let's see if we can go talk to Candace real quick. Sino said she'd be here. I got lied to. Hey, look at that. Isak. How's it going, champ? Thanks for helping. I can't believe that was this quest. <laughs> oh, he's giving us a little gift as well. Charcoal baked cake. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, there she is. Like where we started. Yes. Traveler, I... oh, it's good to see you again. I found you. Sino said you were resting in Gandarvaville for some time. Yep. How are you feeling now? Fully recovered. Good to hear. I'm happy that you've returned safe and sound. Thank you. Thanks for all that you've done. The villagers won't be exaggerating <laughs> when they say heroes <laughs> once passed through our village. You know, it was all thanks to your advice. If you ever have time, please come visit Haru Village again. Oh. I still want to go hunting with you. I would gladly do that in a hangout. Pretty please. I want Candace hangout. Okay, we found her. I'm happy. Okay, let's end it. Today's the big day! It is! Let's go to the Grand Bazaar and see how the celebration's coming along! Uh huh. Are oh, you guys gonna be hella mad at me? My resin's been capped the entire video. It's been like five hours. Wow. So many people at the party. <laughs> We're just having a little snack. I thought it was gonna be like a festival or something. Everybody's already Looks like we're the last ones to arrive. Always late. I'm here. You said I'm here. Didn't you say I'm here? It says you're here. Ah, oh, there you are. Hey, Nilu. Good evening. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Do you remember when I had to round all you nerds up when you were all across the globe? Yeah, I had to do that. Allow me to come like a minute late, okay? You look like you came here immediately after finishing up some work. I'm very happy to see you here. See? She's nice about it. I did. I had to go meet everybody. But we're not late, are we? It's just that everyone else arrived ahead of time. Yes. I propose that the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. <laughs> well, like last time I didn't even get to finish them. Nah, there won't be any speeches today. <laughs> oh, really? Well, even better. Good. Come join us over here. Let's share some great food and drinks. Glad. And chat about all sorts of fun things. Please. Everything looks quite good. Yeah. Wow. Paimon can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Traveler, just look at all the delicious food here. I see it. The feast and celebration of General Mahamatra and the Grand Bazaar goes as planned. Drinks are flowing, the food is delicious, and the venue is beautifully arranged. Everybody eats and drinks before enjoying the performance prepared by Nilu and everyone in the Grand Bazaar. Time passes gradually in the wonderful atmosphere, and the beautiful evening feels Whoa, almost like... It's so um, delicious! Oh, this grilled meat tastes amazing! <laughs> the food was specially prepared for you by everyone in the Grand Bazaar. Aww. And we have gifts that were sent by the residents of Sumeru City when they heard we were holding a feast. Wow. Everyone that came said that you saved Sumeru, and wanted me to thank you all on their behalf. Of course. Ah, feels kind of nice to be seen as a hero. <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> Being a bodyguard is also a hero's job. You've always been amazing, Dia. She's really trying to keep you here, Dia. <laughs> My lady sure has a way with words. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. 
Nice. And I'm happy to meet everyone that participated in the great plan. Of course. Don't mention it. Come to think of it, we've really done something impressive together. It's unbelievable. It's not that unbelievable anymore. We owe it to our abilities. And luck. <laughs> really? Why do I remember everybody thinking that luck was against us and feeling like we hardly had a chance of succeeding? Real. That's how I remember it too. Mm -hmm. It's luck that brought us together. And it was luck that let us form a team. Mm. Then, it took so. even more luck for us to formulate a plan and implement it successfully. I don't think so, boss. Moreover, judging from the results, everything worked out well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything? Everyone gave it their all when it mattered most. Everything? I still don't know what happened to Skarmouche. It was almost like a performance. We took the stage and put on our best show. Everyone played their part. And thanks to everyone's efforts, the performance was a great success. Yep. So, would you say we're good actors too? That's one more talent under our belt. It's such a blessing that Lesser Lord Kusanali was able to return to power at the Academia. Yeah. Yes. Even after being abandoned and neglected so many times, she's finally returned. Returned to the Academia? Abandoned and neglected? Uh-huh. Lesser Lord Kusanali once used all her power in a great disaster, which resulted in her losing all her wisdom and memories of the past. <laughs> the Academia basically abandoned her because of it. How do you know? This should be something everybody should remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> you look surprised. I didn't say anything wrong, did I? I, uh, uh -huh. No, everything you said is correct. <laughs> <sighs> That's good. <laughs> something wrong? <laughs> well... Yeah, what's with that face? You knew all of this already! Uh, d d d uh, don't mind me. My mind was somewhere else. <clears throat> Even if those two giants of the Academia are here, I still have to say it. <laughs> oh, I'm wondering now, does that have to do with what we remember and no one else supposedly does? Or Those sages really have some nerve. Yeah. 500 years ago, Lesser Lord Kusanali used all her power for the people of Sumeru. Uh -huh. And what did they do in return? Trapped her. It seems that after everyone forgot, Greater Lord Rukdevata. Oh, of course. That's how it works. Ah, uh, <laughs> I couldn't put one and one together. After everyone forgot Greater Lord Rukdevata, their understanding of Sumeru's history also changed. Now everyone believes Lesser Lord Kusanali had been Sumeru's Archon all along. Maybe I'm the only one in all of Tevat who remembers that Greater Lord Rukdevata ever existed. As the witness of all that happened, I should respect her choice and keep the secret for her. If you bite the to. hand that feeds you, don't act surprised when it turns into a knuckle sandwich, right, Sino? <laughs> now this is awful because either we ruin the world, right? Or, because I'm wondering, do the other Archons know, maybe? Another thing could be that uh, most people do remember, and no one wants to say that to the others that they remember, because then you would defeat the purpose of the whole thing we did. I don't know. I guess these have nothing to do with it. It's just me and Nahida that could have been aware of it. Perhaps I shouldn't say this. But their treatment of Lesser Lord Kusanali calls for a more severe punishment. Mm -hmm. You could simply tell Lesser Lord Kusanali that you wish to have Azar and his accomplices severely punished. She wouldn't want that. I respect our deity's decision. Yeah. And won't interfere in any way. Respectable. While we're on this topic, why didn't you accept the Academia's invitation to become the Grand Sage? Oh, he doesn't want to be a leader. Are you trying to say that I'm fit to be a sage? Yes. <laughs> Not at all. Yes. <laughs> but every person handling this election process <laughs> has said that you are the most suitable candidate to lead the Academia right now. Uh-huh. Why? Because he dethroned Azar from power? Because he's the scribe. <clears throat> Could you try to put it another way? <laughs> this is a good thing, yet you're making it sound like I overthrew Azar for my own personal gain. <laughs> True. But seriously, though. I always wondered if you had some personal motives behind it. That's so toxic. I did have my own motive, but it had nothing to do with being a sage. Okay. If the rules of our nation were suddenly cast by the wayside, then it wouldn't be long until chaos ensued. I had no intention of letting their dreams disrupt my life. Fair enough. By that, you mean your life working as the Academia's scribe. Just his freedom. Precisely. Uh, wait. Is that all? <laughs> so... That's the only reason why you joined us and came up with all those plans? I just want to keep writing books, man. It's reason enough. You've certainly got quite the personality. <laughs> you flatter me. Wow. All right then. 
How about you? It's a match. You've already resumed work as the General Mahamatra, right? Uh-huh. That's right. Will you be happy with that life? It's not about being happy. There are merely a lot of things that I must do. <laughs> okay. Even so, keep your spirits up and try to be happy, okay? <laughs> and try to smile more every day. <laughs> just like I'm doing now. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Crack a smile, Sino. Sino, crack a smile. Oh, okay, well, you get to talk to everyone individually again. Neither. Ah, there you are, Traveler. Hey. Well, how is it? Are you enjoying the feast today? Yeah. If there's anything you're unhappy with, just let me know. I'll be sure to take note of it. No, it's great. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> That's good. It's the first time I've ever invited so many exceptional people to one place. Fair enough. I was a little nervous myself. No need. You see, we're all friends. Every guest here is quite extraordinary. It's unbelievable that we've got everyone together here. Almost like a fairy tale. Maybe it was all orchestrated by some upper power, you know. Make sure you live it up tonight. Of course. I'll be happy as long as you're enjoying yourselves. We do have a message to tell you. You tell Sataria's message to Nilu. I'm honored to have her think of me this way. Uh-huh. If I have a chance in the future, I would really like to invite her to one of my performances. Just go perform in the desert for all the desert people. I can't explain why. But I just feel elated right <laughs> now. Thank you. No worries. Take care. Hey, Sino. The atmosphere here is good, and everything is delicious. It must be rare to see you at such a lively gathering. <laughs> yeah. I don't often come to such places. But it feels quite good. Mm -hmm. I have a lot to handle these days. Otherwise, I could show you around. That'd be great, but it's okay. Don't worry about us. <laughs> There's always next time. Agreed. We're friends after all. I'm happy to hear you say it. <sighs> this feast is pretty good. Yeah. I like it. Nice. That is that good news. Hail Haiti, let me just step in the watermelon. Alright, perfect. I seldom participate in such lively gatherings. Uh-huh. But the atmosphere here is quite good. You sound like Sino. Hmm. And I thought you'd find it quite boring. No. This gathering today has a unique meaning. Yeah. The Grand Bazaar is lively because the people here feel happiness from the bottom of their hearts. It's pretty empty right Unlike now. the farces at the Academia. Yeah. That happiness is an emotion that'll be forever alien to those bookworms who have driven themselves insane by studying. Oh, I love that he's saying this. Yes. Hmm. I seem to have taken both keys when I left the house. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> that's definitely intentional. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the Kaya Diluc dynamic, 100%. My lady, the grilled meat over there is delicious. <laughs> Have you tried it? <laughs> yes, I also tried some fruit just now. Oh, they're very sweet. I may have stepped in them. No wonder everybody likes to rest at the Grand Bazaar. Well, it's nice and quiet now. You said it. Oh, look who else is here. I've been standing here for a while. You guys are just ignoring me. I'm third wheeling. Hello! Oh, I'm Hello. so happy Nilu invited everybody. Uh -huh. Oh, now I have the chance to meet all the heroes. My pleasure. I'm glad we could come. Hey, less of that polite chit-chat, more eating and drinking. <laughs> the feast is about having fun, not stuffy formalities. You're right, you're right. Oh, the dance time? Maybe. We're so tired. Hey, what's wrong? Your head is starting to droop. We're tired, I told you. <laughs> A little sleepy. It feels like I'm about to nod off. Maybe Nihihi's trying to communicate. Hey! You can't just fall asleep here! Paima will go find <laughs> something delicious for you to eat. You'll wake up once you put something yummy in your tummy. Yeah, right. Of course! Just wait here for Paimon! I'll be asleep. Paimon! Paimon, I need your guidance. I need someone to look at me. I'm passing out. I'm dead. Is it because I didn't sleep well last night that I feel sleepy all of a sudden? Or is it because I'm too full? Huh? It seems like someone is here. Well, this gotta be the god. <laughs> it's either Nihihi or it's Scaramouche again. Hit me with it. <laughs> yeah, it's me. of course it would be you, you sneaky. Nihihi, what the heck are you doing with Dottore, huh? Nihihi, it looks like my consciousness is connected to yours again. Mm -hmm. You may blame me for being a bit too self indulgent. Okay. I was thinking about talking with you, and the next thing I knew, I had made a connection with you. Wow. The connection between us is amazing. <laughs> it's like Flora and the fence it grows upon. Wow. 
What a word. What a way to, what a way with words. Is there anything you need from me? I heard there's an amazing celebration feast today at the Grand Bazaar. Uh huh. I wanted to have a look for myself, so I snuck in. You're invited in person, you know. Lately, I've been so busy dealing with all the fallout from recent events, so I really haven't had any free time. <sighs> Poor child. Although you've already helped me with a lot, uh -huh. there's still one more thing I hope you can help me with. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Please say thank you to everyone for me. Of course. Ah, so that's what this is about. Nahida, it'd be better if you could do that yourself. Uh, oh, is it not convenient for you to do that for me? Uh, I mean, I can, but I do think it'd be nice if you did it. Some things in this world must be done by yourself. Also, what happened to Scaramouche? But if I just show up all of a sudden, people will become all quiet and stiff, won't they? Not if you do it more often and commonly and just are nice. What if I end up scaring them and ruining this wonderful feast? No. That'd be the last thing I want. Everyone here appreciates you. It'll be fine. Please don't worry too much. Hmm. Let me think about it. <laughs> sure. Okay. Nice. Have you made up your mind? Yes, I have. And? That's good. Wait, huh? <laughs> Nahihi. You said I should go think everyone is myself, right? Uh-huh. So? So, you decided to control me? I've decided to borrow your body for the time oh being. Oh my god. Please don't blame me. The floor also climbs up to the fence to get closer to the sky. Nahihi, you're extremely stinky. Then at least promise me you won't say anything weird when you're in my body. Lumine speech again? Real? What do you want? <laughs> Everyone! <laughs> but do they hear Nahida as Nahida? Just so you know, Nahi, this is way weirder for them. Are you awake now? Paimon was just about to bring you the food! It's me. <laughs> huh? That voice! Nahida? <laughs> Hold up, what's going on? <laughs> it's not me. I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali in the Grand Bazaar. <laughs> Interesting. Is this also a part of the feast? I guess so. What's crazy is that this isn't even the first person that has controlled us, like possessed us. The friend of Yai had done it first. No, no, of course not. Are you... Lesser Lord Kusanali? <laughs> yep. How <are> you? <laughs> you know who I am? <laughs> yes. I already know every one of you. Nilu, I'll hate them. Simon, <laughs> Dia, Paimon, and Dunyarza. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali? <laughs> Don't pass out on me, Dunny. Oh, hello. <laughs> I took the liberty of occupying the traveler's body so that I could thank all of you in person. Did I just yeet her out? And I'm me again and she's her? Thank you so much for rescuing me. Even if that meant placing your own safety in peril, Aww. and taking the risk of becoming enemies with the Academia, the Sages, the Doctor, the Balladier, Tell us more. and even the entirety of Sumeru. What happened with the Fatutu? Without you, without any of you, I would have been in a much more difficult situation. Of course. Had you not helped me to resolve the crisis, not only I, but Sumeru, and even the entirety of Tevat would have suffered great misfortune. Yeah. People refer to you as the heroes who managed to rescue a god. Kinda true. I'm quite fond of this name. <laughs> it not only explains your identities, but also bears witness to your relationship with me. That's nice. That's cute. You have done so much for Sumeru, and I... I, I didn't even have a chance to do anything for you. You started the domino effect. You don't have to do this. What do you mean? Ten years on. The suffering you endured during your illness is also proof of you being with me and praying for me. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need to be so ceremonious. It's always been my duty to protect you. <laughs> this is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. I love it. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the right path. Ah, oh, I feel so wholesome and happy. It's like, it's like a nice cozy fireplace in the winter that's how i feel right now you're an archon but you act so humble you really don't need to be so polite with us what do you mean <laughs> don't justify the other archons what the hell i i'm honored to have been able to take part in this plan 
I hoped you liked the dance I dedicated to you. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Thank you so uh, much. It's gonna be me again, and she's gone. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. See? Just like I said, everybody here is very happy to meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love her so much. Nahida shows up for a surprise visit and brings the feast to its climax. Sincere joy flows in the hearts of everyone present. So she actually came herself? A warm atmosphere of talking and laughter carries on late into the night. Maybe not. Maybe it was just the interference or like using me. And the feast ends on a perfect note. What is it? What is this perfect note? The next day. <sighs> wow, guys. Can I just say? Did you rest well? I rested great. I love Genshin Impact. <laughs> I love this game. I think I slept alright. After Nahida left, you ate a lot of food. You've become a glutton. That's because of you, and it's still nothing compared to you. Hmm. That just means you still have a lot to learn from Master Paimon, <laughs> the sage of gluttony. Hey, that's a sin. That's oh, are you saying you're also a demon evil? Oh no. Alright. Since you're awake now, should we go and have a chat with Nahida? I guess so. She should be in the academia right about now. If you have any questions, now's your chance to ask. That's definitely the last chat, because then you get to ask about what's with Skaramouche, what's with Dottore, what's with everything. Oh my god, did we even, like, consciously see Dottore, or are we just... We really didn't, right? I don't remember if we passed out before it or not. I think we passed out and we saw him as we passed out, but... Don't know if you remember anything about it. We've made it. <laughs> Quite a long way. You really decided to stay here, huh? I guess it's back to being a meditation chamber now. Nahida! Hey, champ. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> what a fantastic night. I'm still immersed in all the happiness and joy, like a candle floating on water. Okay. So are we. And that's why we're here to talk with you. Oh, I guess? Is there anything you want to know? There's so much. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, okay, about Fontaine even, bro, that's in so long. Watch them make like a super short patch and like in two patches Fontaine is out. I really hope not, <laughs> but imagine. Um, wow. About the Akasha. After recent events, I've oh. given it some thought oh. and oh, have sorry. decided to shut it down permanently. Good. But this is definitely not a bad thing. Even from the beginning, I've been planning to shut it down. Awesome. The Akasha centralized administration of knowledge has always restrained people's curiosity yeah. and curtailed the number of paths available to True. them. True. I don't think this is good for Sumeru. Well, I tend to agree. Although people may initially feel a little uncomfortable with the loss of the Akasha, they will soon understand that this life is more suitable for them. I'm sure. And as for the future of Sumeru, I'm preparing to regain control of the Academia. Nice. The former sages have received their punishment. But the new sages have yet to be selected. Mm -hmm. I will oversee the process personally. Good. I hope that the new six great sages will be more focused on academics. Sumeru needs such leaders more than ever. Yeah. The other big issue is the people of King Deshret. Mm -hmm. All the residents of the desert, in fact. Mm -hmm. They have been mistreated for far too long. Yeah. I've already taken some measures to address this. I know. It will take some time to rebuild everything. But no matter if it's culture, friendship, or trust, we will rebuild it. That's good. That's really good. Okay, uh, what happened after I fell asleep that day? You mean, what happened after the doctor put you to sleep? Uh-huh. Did he take the Gnosis? Not exactly. The top-ranked Fatui Harbingers, mm -hmm. up to number three, yeah. possess power comparable to that of God. Really? I was no match for him in that kind of situation. Fair enough. However, in spite of the bad situation, I still managed to make a fair deal with the doctor. I don't know, I feel like he'd betray you quite easily. I'm sure you remember the entity that changed your fate, the Heavenly Principles. Uh... In fact, the Heavenly Principles has been quiet since the Conria disaster 500 really? years ago. I used this point as leverage against the doctor. Okay. I told him that the Heavenly Principles may be awakened if I destroyed Enosis. Yeah. Although it's just a bluff, he still fell for it. He's still spying on us somewhere. I assumed that the Heavenly Principles wouldn't just stand by and let such extensive damage to its laws take place. Uh-huh. And as for what I exchanged for the no -sees? Yeah. So, no-sees is plural of no-sis, which means she definitely gave both of them. 
The exchange served as both punishment for the doctor, as well as a boon of new knowledge that I couldn't refuse as the god of wisdom. I hope you made the right choice. Okay, about the ballad year. Here He's we go. He's still in a coma. Okay. I've hidden him like how one would hide a feather. Uh... I know you have many misgivings about him. Okay. But as someone who had become a god, he has retained a number of very useful features. Okay. It feels like this might be, you know, the Archon interlude quest? Next patch? I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be very interesting, though. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him <laughs> and make sure he doesn't do any evil. Good. In addition, there are still some mysteries left in him. Of course. Some things may be very clear from my perspective, but he is still yet to understand them himself. Unfortunately, I've seen the drip marketing from Genshin itself, and like what I've seen puts up like easy theories. I won't say anything just in case you haven't seen it. I hope you haven't, because I feel like it's massive spoilers. It kind of sucks. But yeah, based on that, you can put quite a quite a theory here that's going to be very interesting in an upcoming upcoming chapter. But it doesn't even solve that somehow. His future will be determined by fate. <laughs> will be determined by fate, and here it says will depend on his luck. I feel like determined by fate is way more Nahida, and this luck thing is something I'll hate them kept saying. I feel like he also should have been more like fate. I don't know. I guess fate means that it's controlled, whereas luck means that. It's random. Now the fact we're asking this is beyond me. About Fontaine, the next stop on my journey. Is that where you're headed next? Uh-huh. Fontaine, the nation of justice? <laughs> yeah, maybe in games. <laughs> I'm sorry. As far as I know, that nation operates in a judicial system. Okay. Does their Archon personally judge people? <laughs> I just want to see you with a little wig and a hammer. It's a literal judge. No, there's a chief justice in Fontaine. Okay. Generally speaking, the Hydra Archon, Fossilor, won't Fossilor. preside over individual trials. Oh, ça alors. <laughs> However, even then, Fossilor will still make herself present at just about every trial. Okay. It seems that she just likes to immerse herself in that sort of atmosphere. The French strict queen, I see. As Archon, she still reserves the right to influence the final verdict. Wow. Sounds like even more dictature at this point. Anyway, let's just say she's got, uh, a very unique personality. Wow, you got me so excited though, I really want to see what she's like. She must have blue hair, right? She's, she's Hydro. Alright, we've done everything. Nothing else to say. Are you sure? Yeah? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Are you trying to hint at something? Do you remember anything? No, I'm not asking you that. I don't think so. I think that's everything. Huh? You mean... No. About your brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, I don't even think about that anymore. While you were resting at Gandarvaville, I took some time to perform an ermine soul search for information on your brother. Okay, but we both came from beyond the Sea of Stars. There shouldn't be any information on, on him in ermine soul. Well, yes there is, because he's been here for 500 years. Yeah! Isn't ermine soul a repository for all the information and memories of Tvat? Mm -hmm. So there shouldn't be anything on her or her brother. Yeah, right. This is true in your case. Ermin Soul indeed does not have any information on I'm you. So quirky. However, uh huh. There must be something different about your brother. Because as it turns out, the world has recorded information on him after all. We know. What? He's friends. <laughs> Why are we surprised? <laughs> We've had so much Conria lore our brother is somehow involved with, and now we're like, wait, what? He's been here for longer than us? What? There's only one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. No, <laughs> I don't think so. How is that possible? We journeyed the seas of stars all our lives until we came here. How could he possibly hail from Tevat? He doesn't. He just landed here way before us, before the world reset. Things don't add up. Is there something wrong with my memories, or is it this world that has done something to him? But nothing about this I think the world is reset with him in this it. your first trip to Tevat? Yeah, mine anyway. Do you have any further intel? Like, what he's been through? Hmm. According to the records I was able to access, <laughs> your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. Really now? After the this Conria is really nothing disaster, new, right? he began I mean, his journey through the seven nations of Tevat. Right. Yeah. Really interesting though. So many more like this this confirms a lot of potential theories or like allows for more in depth. But just as his journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermin's little records on him suddenly become fuzzy. <laughs> Cause the world ended there and reset back to here. What do you mean fuzzy? Did something happen to him? That has to that's the only thing I can think of. 
I hope it's something different. Uh, I hope I'm like completely wrong. That'd be so exciting. All I know for sure is that somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating his fate. That might be the people above. Based on the fact that he's with the Abyss and seems to not per se side with Archons, he, I don't know if he hates them or not, but he definitely is a friend of the Abyss. Hmm. But like the corrupted memories come from the Abyss. Maybe it's not that bad after all. Since they said that Ermin Soul was the support, Dottore said the Ermin Soul. How do I word this? Dottore said something about Ermin Soul having a secret, and Nahida explained, or Rukadevata explained, that the forbidden knowledge comes from another world, from the abyss, supposedly, and corrupted the tree. Which almost means like, this is the fate that Tevat deserves. I don't know if the corrupted knowledge is from Lumine and Aether's place in Celestia. I don't know if they're trying to prevent their downfall, like the downfall of Celestia, their control over Tevat. Uh, it's very... there's a million possible things, but this is, I think, this is as far as I'm understanding it from everything we've heard in this quest, but, you know, thoughts foggy after all this time. And whoever it is, if they can do that, who knows what else they're capable of. Yeah, it'd be related to the Abyss. But even that wouldn't explain how he somehow comes from this world. He doesn't. Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the Descenders. Descenders? What's a Descender? Paimon's never heard of it. I guess someone that comes from the sky, or like, you know, an alien. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you must be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for my Gnosis, right? Yeah. A very important part of the intel was about this world's Descenders. See? Aliens. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Uh huh, and supposedly Aether does belong to it. Traveler, you are Tavat's fourth descendant. Fourth? <laughs> fourth? <laughs> you what? <laughs> Alright, well, now throw everything I said in the water. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> So the Fatui count three other descenders before the Traveler, and <laughs> your brother isn't even one of them? <laughs> Looks like it. That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. But that's a group of people, isn't it? As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. Okay. <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information. If, she were, if I were to just tell you, your world would be rocked. And yet, even knowing all this, I'm sure you must still have a lot of more questions. questions. I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the god of wisdom. Fair enough. There are many questions in my heart as well. Mm -hmm. I will need some time to go through each one of them. Same here. I'll need some time to reflect on what you've said. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew, and depart from Sumeria. <laughs> what do you mean, soon? I'm very it's interested like months. in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded by this world. That is crazy. You know who's recording it, though? Me. I am. I'm like the scribe of Earth. <laughs> I'm scribing everything that's, that's happening in Tevat. Isn't that cool? That's a cool title. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. That's a principle most people don't understand yet, Nahihi. I'm sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. Yeah, sure. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, still. All right, that's enough talk for today. <laughs> that's a lot of talk. If you ever miss me, just uh -huh. close your eyes. Oh. And maybe I'll appear in your dreams. I hope so. Hope you'll appear in my wishes too. Or your weapon. <laughs> There we go, Akasha pulses, the Kalp of Flame rises. To be continued, though! What do you mean, to be continued? Oh, look at it, it's the branch! No way! That's you! I have tiny you, even tinier you. Is there anything you want to know? I think I asked everything, right? Yeah, nothing else. I'm very interested in your future. So am I. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. That's so much new information, my brain is exploding. Well then, hi! Hi, how's it going? This is probably the longest video I've ever uploaded that's gonna be fully edited. Uh, this is gonna feel like a supercut. My goodness, so much lore, so many things. I think I spoke about them as we went through them, so you've kinda heard everything I had to say. 
I'm gonna need some time myself and probably edit. What I usually do is in the description, I put a little recap of how I feel after having edited, because I can review everything I said and re-see the lore, I guess, and knowing what happens next. It's a bit cooler for me to do it like that, but wow. I love Genshin Impact. This game is crazy. I've never been this attached to a story, to characters, to lore. Uh, it's the first time I'm really into it and seeing things just as they get released and being excited for them. I absolutely love it so much. Either way, do let me know in the comments what you thought. I want to hear your theories as well. I love reading about them. Uh, maybe about things I said, whether you think they're right or wrong. I think that's also super interesting most of the time. And I can't wait to build Nahida, make a video on that, uh, everything around it. I'm so excited, so happy, and I'll see you very soon with more stuff, I hope. Alright, lots of love, see you in the next one, and all that. Bye-bye. <laughs>